name tag badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, my name is Hitachi or whatever. <laughs> and we're live. Oh man. Oh. The machines, they're coming for us. <laughs> they, they took my job. My ATV took my job. I'll just yeah. bounce over that. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, how is it going? It's Saturday night, kind of snuck up on us. And I'm like, why am I looking at Hearts of Iron? I'm like, oh, right. We talked about it in we the pre pre super shows. This is a thing that actually happened. We are absolutely, like positively, 100% getting ready for episode 552, where we will be talking about a steamy summer sale. Yeah. So summer sale or prices. spring sale? I don't know, man. It says sale in the show notes. I don't... <laughs> what are you, a cop? <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a calendar cop. If you're, if you're, if you're in summer, <laughs> but it's January, I'm going to arrest you. Man, it better be something. I mean, it depends on where you're at. You're like, well, I mean, is it really? Is it really a spring sale in New Zealand? Right, yeah. or, or on the southern hemisphere? It's fall. It, the temperature is about the same, probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right, let's do. Oh, that uh, is the wrong week. Show notes. I should close this. I don't know. It could be kind of fun. You're like, wait a minute. What are you guys <laughs> talking about? <laughs> oh, we live. Uh. Um, quote tweet live with that Lex, yeah, yeah. well I definitely know, don't need the tracking page for the steam deck anymore <laughs> that's an old tab just oh well yeah I mean I guess I too was refreshing that tab every day <laughs> every day it only um, took three days, to be fair. After they sent me the email, it's like, okay, you're going to get it. Uh, it. It's already being shipped out, so chill. And then F5 on that. But yeah, three days later, showed up. <laughs> Who's got their Discord alerts uh, on? That's me. Uh, we all do, one, one, one. because Jill just tagged the three of us. Hi, Jill. <laughs> one, 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 Hello, please. Jill. I was talking about the audio alerts. Yeah, that's coming out the wrong device. I'm not sending you any uh, other than the microphone, so it shouldn't be. No, it's, 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 it's me. It's Jordan. Yeah. It's me. I, I, I fucking Jordan's like, God it. damn it. How many times do I have to say it's me? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> shit, man. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> what is back there on the desk? It looks like a metallic fist or a glove on Pedro's side. Oh, on Pedro's side? Yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah, <laughs> that's a I, bag I, of wooden buttons. I mean, this doesn't end. This raises more <laughs> questions, admittedly. I needed exactly eight of those buttons to raise this uh, little table here about half an inch, but they only sold bags of a hundred. <laughs> How did so, you end up on wooden buttons as the um, buffering device? Because they were the uh, most solid, exactly the right size for me to put the uh, the feet of the table on. I tried looking for like cubes, like little cubes made out of uh, either nylon or metal or wood, and they wanted stupid amounts of money for it. So I paid uh, three pounds for a bag of a hundred of these little buttons. <laughs> What you got against triangles, man? I I didn't see triangles, so <laughs> this is what we need to bring back. That's because you gotta try harder. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I want more stabby legs on furniture, just sharp points. I, like sharp points. I don't. I just fucking catch. I catch corners on everything all the fucking time, and it's the worst. I don't because that shit comes right into my kneecaps. Yeah, that, yeah, right. Yeah, the, there's there's the one spot on the bed that I keep fucking my knee up on, and like I'm aware of it until I get lulled into a false sense of security, and then it fucking happens again. My bed's low enough that it doesn't. Uh, it's like halfway up my shin, but Nori, it's like perfect on the knee. Dude, and every now and then she comes over. Just, oh, I was. Uh, this has been shit. Probably like two months ago, I had that moment because I'd reorganized, I'd moved some stuff around because I was looking for something in the basement. And I was like, I'd shut down to the basement to pick something up, but I was like, halfway through going to the other side until I remember, it was like, all this shit's rearranged in here with no lights on. I was like, Shh. 
just froze. I'm like, oh, fuck. Hello, you know, corner, bang, my old yeah. friend. <laughs> hey, hello, sharpest part of the table, just Dude. colliding with my side. Yeah. Let me find something nice, sturdy, and made of hardwood. There it is. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, you try you, you try to fucking daredevil your way through that room, but that does that does not work. Oh man, smashing into things in the dark. You know what? I, how how often? How long does it take you to learn? Like if you, you move furniture, if you re rearrange furniture, you will bump into it at least once after the um. Yeah, for sure. But do you bump into it at full clip the first time, or and then you're like, all right, we're good. The first time, I, yeah, because you walk in. You know, with the confidence of it used to be, or this path used to be clear. Mm. I, th I think I'm pretty good, but it's like a day or two later when I just forget about it and my brain just assumes that it's the old layout. Mm. And just, yeah, you confidently stride in and you're just like, oh, fuck, right, that's there. God damn it. <laughs> it usually the, takes like a week or two. Yeah. <laughs> it takes that first time of just almost dropping you and you're like, okay, we're good. Now yeah. we know that's it. Yeah, it's like, okay, do do we need to move this again? Is this is this like in retrospect, is this just a bad spot for it? Did I think it made more sense back a week ago? And 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 now that we've entered Praxis. Oh man, I can't stop looking about at that painting AI painting Scott Michaud posted. He reminds me of like some dude from a fucking like serial commercial. Really? There's like reminds me oh, of the dude that works in the same office as I do. <laughs> I don't like, know his like, name, but he looks like, very much like that. <laughs> there was like this one actor who kept like showing up in a bunch of different commercials like years ago, and he kind of looks like the painting kind of looks like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just like when, you know you're just flipping through channels and you're like, damn, this guy's like literally booking every single commercial he applies for, basically. Um, what's his name? Passed away of natural causes at the age Lance of sixty. Lance Yeah. Yeah. Brain aneurysm. Like the, I I didn't go too deep into it, but uh, I was like, yeah, the agent and everything. Yeah. Yes. The boss yeah, he, agent. Yeah. Uh, he, was it Rick and Morty that he played agent? What's his name? Or some other show? It was an animated show that he he voiced himself basically oh playing. Yeah, he, every I mean, single one of yeah, his roles. The the, the <laughs> dude he's had iconic, a role yeah. he played, right? He, he, and, he was like the uh, government agent in charge. Yeah. But but then, but then like he's really good outside of that because he was like the pirate dude from Castlevania, and I had no idea until I saw the credits. Mm. Um, yeah, he's 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 a really good actor. My favorite bit of his is that Eric Andre bit where he just fucking comes out in chains with the fucking Jordy LaForge visor. He's like, I wish I were Levar Burton. Where's my award-winning slave role? Where's my legacy of children's education? I wish I were LeVar Burton. So hopefully he is LeVar Burton in heaven. Space heaven. Yes. Um, God, I, I didn't realize he was in Lost. And I'm like, oh yeah, all right. He, he's, yeah, he, 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 I guess he's just like in fucking everything, right? Like he's just one of those actors. Well, I immediately knew the guy from Fringe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, that, that was my first touchstone with him that I could. But apparently, yeah, I was like, yeah, I had a bit and lost, and uh, he was in a Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep, mm -hmm. uh, he was he was the uh, the main lieutenant in The Wire. I never watched The Wire. The Wire is very good. I, I I I a lot a lot of people will say that, but like it 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 is one of those things that does live up to the hype. Mm -hmm. The later the the um, the thing that gets some people, I guess, is like. Uh, it's the same principal cast of characters, but, like, the focus changes every season to, like, a different aspect of the city. So, like, you start off with the cops and the gangsters, and then you move on to, like, the dock workers, and there's, like, a political subplot that happens in, like, one season. But, like, all, all the previous threads keep going. They just, like, introduce a new, like, section of the city that they that becomes, like, entangled with the story. So some mm. sometimes, like, like, oh, the, the like... The this like the main the the principal main character of the show still exists, but this season is about these characters, and so we're following them more. But like yeah no, very very good storytelling, very, very good acting. I re I really recommend the wire. Is it as good as Voyager? It is <laughs> half as good as Voyager. Mm. <laughs> High praise. High praise. 
It's it's weird too because there's like a bunch of Game of Thrones people in there like years before Game of Thrones. Like the 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 guy, the guy who plays Littlefinger is like playing a politician. I'm like, oh, he's gonna fucking backstab everyone. Like, nope, he's the good guy. All right, huh. Huh. all right. Uh, yeah. It was Misfits. I was watching Misfits, and I'm going, oh, that's a person from Preacher. Oh, that's a person from Preacher. Oh, that's a person from Preacher. Okay, all right. <laughs> Preacher, Preacher was so good. Oh, it was. Like, I'm gl I'm glad that got made. That like, yeah, that had no business. And it was one of those. It was like the second thing on AMC. You're like, what? Yeah. All right. AMC, get 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 back to being that. Like you didn't expect like Breaking Bad on AMC or um Yeah, they they were they were they were pretty rocking and rolling for a while and then they're just like, "Oh yeah, Breaking Bad, everyone loves that. We don't have to try anymore." I tried, so well. I tried watching into the into the Badlands, the what one with that? it's like the like western kung fu type thing mm. in like a post apocalyptic in a post apocalypse it has like Nick Frost in it and a bunch of other people. No. Oh. It was it was it was okay. I couldn't get into it. But it was it was like, oh, it's AMC and they're doing like some post apocalyptic like kung fu shit. I'm I'm down, but like it, it's not great. So what about the Nevers? The Nevers? Yeah. Oh. I didn't either until like maybe two weeks ago, but then I forgot about it. Then I was re reminded of it. I'm like, oh, it was on HBO. They aired like half the series or something like that a billion years ago. And they're like, oh, yeah, here's the other half. Original network HBO and then on Tubi. Oh, man, wasn't Tubi the one that got shut down because it was like vertical video? I don't remember. There were a couple of them for a minute, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is on um, like the X Men and Victorian era England. Okay. One season, twelve episodes. Okay, I might have to. <sighs> I'm, I'm still, I'm still <laughs> mad at HBO for fucking Raised by Wolves. Yeah. Oh, what? A, oh, um, I, I think unfortunately, I'm just gonna say this, and I will say this after watching just two episodes of it. Willow didn't get renewed. I'm like, it's probably for the best. <laughs> what? What didn't get renewed? Willow. Oh Willow, yeah. Oh. yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was was not very good. No, I've, I, I, I made it to episode four, and then I'm just like, this is fucking terrible. I'm done. I showed up for Willow, <laughs> not teen angst and drama. <laughs> Ooh, speaking oh of uh, teen drama, um, there was a show on Netflix that I watched the first Shadow season of. Yeah, yeah. It's, I couldn't, uh, season I, two is back. <laughs> couldn't couldn't get into it. Lonnie and I tried to watch it, and it's like, eh. no, no. What was it about? Shadows and bonds. It's like uh, it's about a world that is divided by a wall of darkness, and it, uh, it, there's it, it, magic. Go, 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 gothy magic teen drama is basically yeah. the. Uh... <laughs> and uh, you know the guy that played uh, the painkillers, like old. Uh, friend from the army uh, in the um, Marvel TV show? No? What's his no? name? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the Lassie, have you been drinking? Past. No, no. Was, uh, oh, uh, oh the, um, the, the, the dude who got his face fucked up? Ben yes. Barnes. Ben Barnes. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. pretty one, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, uh he's there too, um in Shadow and Bone. The spoilers, he was the one that divided the world in half. <laughs> Hopefully it made more sense than that fucking Sauron twist in Rings of Power. <laughs> no, it, it does make more sense and you learn how that was it would a happen. Twist? That was like telegraphed from episode two. <laughs> right, right, but like it but like that's the thing, it doesn't make sense in the story. <laughs> Amen. It like, like this this guy is like playing like hyper elaborate like twelve dimensional chess. Like, oh, I just happened to to wash up on a boat with this lady who, yeah, like. I'm just saying, episode two. I was like, that's all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, like, I I I understand they telegraphed it, but I'm like, no, it can't. My 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 initial gut reaction was, it can't be. It's too obvious, and it makes no sense. It didn't make any sense that like all the people on the raft disappeared. I'm like. Right. Yeah, right. And we all know that, like, Sarman, he just starts snatching people up, treating people like snacks. 
I like things that are like meant to be a mini series. If I know that going in, I don't like things that are like that oh, was a mini series. Why? Because it got canceled. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> oh, they yeah. they put a bow on it. They didn't expect to get renewed, but <laughs> how about we get a Battlestar Galactica reboot? Isn't that they've been they've been talking about that for like ten years now? I mean, imagine how expensive that was going to be now. Yeah. They just gotta reuse the CGI from the old series. Mm. Oh, he, he plays, uh, what's his name? Ben Barnes plays uh, Prince Caspian in the Chronicles of Narnia. Prince Caspian yep. video game. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> he, he also played him in the Prince Caspian movie, which is why he's the voice in the game. Okay. Yeah. Did, I, didn't they make a couple of those Narnia movies, or did they, they try to? They, or? they so they did. I, wa I watched a I watched a YouTube video on that. It's it's actually pretty interesting how they set that up because like it got started, um, um, it, it got started like in the wake of like the success of Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. but they wanted to like film the movies with like the children aging in real time, mm. because that's that's kind of what happens in the, in the books, right? Uh, so they shot a bunch of the stuff. And then, um, and then they just like sat on it for years until like, um, uh, until like it came time to make the next movie and then it dropped, like, uh, D Disney gave it up and it went to Fox and then like, you know, Disney buys out Fox and so now it owns all of the shit again. Mm. Yeah. They were going to try to make like a Narniverse, right? Yep. Nar Narniverse. <laughs> Narnia gear solid. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I definitely, that's the line, the witch in the wardrobe. Yep. And like, I know I'd read at least one or two of those books as a child, but I couldn't have told you anything other than like, yeah, there was a wardrobe that you could go through to a different place. And I think I wrote on a rainbow at some point or some gen. Um, no, Sa Santa Claus gives them weapons and they go kill a lady after a lady kills a Jesus lion. I mean, at least we got the movies. So we got the uh, lion meme, you know, don't talk Ride to me. No, man. Uh, what is it? Uh, talk to me of the old magic, magic. which yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I was there when it was written. Yeah, don't quote the uh, whatever. I have to yeah. look it up every single time. Yeah, fortunately, and then, act but and then they actually like show you that in the books in the in the magician's nephew. They, they actually pay that off. What's that? The internet meme? Yeah. C.S. Lewis is like, lol, JK, check this shit out. And then he did a kickflip. What is the, it. um, what about like the Sorcerer's Apprentice? Uh, like the, like the Mickey Mouse one? Like the Nicolas Cage movie. Yeah, that was based off the Mickey Mouse one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I swear, man, um, I get to quit picking, um, audiobooks by, uh, the fucking, um, album art. Oh, yeah, judging, literally judging a book by its cover. Um, man, uh, I genuinely just got like I I bought both of the books. So I was like, all right, uh, this looks okay. Whatever, it's a light. It's got a dragon in it. Some shit. Uh, by chapter two, I realized the only way I could deal with this dragon is if I envisioned him with a fucking fedora and trench coat. Oh no! Is <laughs> well. <laughs> While you were gathering treasure, I was busy studying the blade. <laughs> um, this was like the most pent up dragon. That, oh, no. Yeah, it was like, ser I, I was so relieved when like a lady dragon showed up instead of the princess. I'm like, okay, all right, <laughs> we're not going to do that. Um, it, it, dude, it was so bad. It was so bad. Um, I didn't even finish the first book. Oh, there you go. That's your, that's your review. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's called Dragon something. I don't know. Good luck finding it. Dra Dragon Fedora. <laughs> it's a trilby, damn it. You know, there's nothing like wrong. Like, uh, you, you can't, you know, not that I ever wore fedoras, but I wouldn't, like, there's just too much of a negative uh, connotation to yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, honestly, I think, I think, like, 
paired well with like the right clothes, it's a good looking hat. But or even a bowler or anything like that. Like I'm down with yeah. like brimmed hats just because it's like more shade. But you know, any any hat you have on, you're like, oh, it's a fedora. I'm like, no, it's a pork pie. A fedora. <laughs> yeah, pe- pe- yeah, yeah. Then you got to pull your cane sword out and stab him. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> Say fedora again. Yeah. Then then you got like a fucking sif- snifter of cocaine in your in your jacket pocket. You just like <laughs> open your poison ring. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just walk down the fucking street dressed like a fucking Victorian gentleman. <laughs> How dare and smoke when the carriage right. comes up and yeah, you jump yeah, on yeah. him right out. Yeah, yeah with, with like the giant fucking pipe. Just like <laughs> <laughs> Fedora. Fedora, what do you Fedora? take me for? Monocle? Some low class. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I go to the finest haberdasher in all of London. Blah, 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 blah. Oh man, kept the guy with the flintlock. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, just just pull out your dueling saber. <laughs> Take off your glove and slap him in the face. Challenge him to a duel. <laughs> Pistols at dawn, sir. Oh shit! Yes. The the ultimate of the stovetop hats. Yep, <laughs> stovepipe hats. Is that a Lincoln in your hat, or are you just happy to see me? I really wish they had done something with that movie. Um. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. It was, it was okay. not a bad movie for what it was. Yeah. It was a pretty good action movie. I mean, it, it, it's a, what, what were you expecting here walking into this movie like as a reviewer? Like, it's Abraham Lincoln killing vampires, I mean. So, like, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to be that guy as I push up my invisible glasses. Ugh, I read the book. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, actually, I actually really like the book. I like both the, the book and the movie. Uh, the movie is a lot more actiony, but I like how the book kind of like tries to like work in more of the history and like brings in like people who like Abraham Lincoln knew. There's like a bit with like a- with like Edgar Allan Poe and how like they team up to like hunt vampires and like it goes really poorly. Uh, and like yeah, there's there's like some other neat stuff and the 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 implication that Lincoln was there for the JFK assassination mm. and he turned to, and he turned JFK into a vampire. <laughs> Did they ever do anything with Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies? I think they did actually make a Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, didn't they? Oh. Prejudice. I can't spell today. Judas and Zombies. Yeah, uh, 2016. Okay. Starring Lily James. Ma- oh, Matt Smith's in it. Neat. Yeah. And Lena Headey. And Charles Dance. Damn, it's an entire fucking... <laughs> It's a Targaryen Lannister reunion. Yep. Shit. <laughs> now I want um, I want a cameo with Matt Smith just riding a space dragon. Right. <laughs> a dragon, but like the head is, it's not a dragon head, it's just a TARDIS. Or whatever. Like, I, I, no reference to it. I just want to see him like just cruising through space, like 1970s style. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody has a space dragon. Give, 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 given his niece some dirty looks. <laughs> you guys ready? I do. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's do it. I don't understand how people. Man, I tried. I bought a Monster Hunter game once. Me too. I. I it, it's it's a lot of grinding. I tried, man. It wasn't from lack. I was like, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. Damn it. I. Just, um, I tried. That's all I can say. I tried. The game loop the end. didn't hook me. I, I, I played there. a little bit of whatever one came out on the PSP, and it's like, no, I I have better shit to do. <laughs> no. my, my my Monster Hunter experience was on the 3DS, but yeah, same mm. same yeah. same shit. It's like <laughs> this is this is taking too long. I'm I'm done. Yeah, I just killed ten of these dinosaurs, and then you can craft a weapon that can actually challenge the boss of that area. And then you have uh, to kill that boss like three times to get the full set of armor and the weapon. Like, no, fuck that. Yeah, if, if you like grinding no. for MMO gear, then Monster Hunter <laughs> is for you. I maybe. I think it might have been. We're going to talk about it in a minute. It was a sale or two ago. Um, it was like two bucks or something. It was one of the older Monster Hunter world things. And I'm like, oh, I'll try this. It's just like, oh, God, no, I don't care. Uh, I made it like 30 minutes after I got done. I spent all this time walking around the fucking town. Dude, I was like, okay, go on your first thing. And I'm like, no, 
I'm done. No, I'm plus, done. Plus, and you're swinging massive weapons, and they deal no fucking damage. Plus, the the, 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 the other chief complaint I hear about the Monster Hunter series is, because it's a multiplayer game, and it's from Japan, you gotta contend with that Japanese online service. That high-quality, oh, yeah. stable, <laughs> intuitive experience. Mm. It, it'll eventually be stable, uh, with, you know, 200-something ping. <laughs> Well, it'll eventually be stable when no one is playing the game anymore and you can get on the server. That's what you get for trying to play it on PC anyway. Uh, all right. You gotta pay for that PSN subscription. N -N Nintendo Switch Online, baby. I wonder how many more years Nintendo's gonna try to get out of that Switch, man. At, at least five. That's <laughs> it's it's sad. All right, let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to record a new segment. Not a new segment. Let's do a Steam segment since it makes a... <laughs> let's do it out of order. You want to do hate... Start off with hate mail? <laughs> Fuck we'll with people with showing news. up. They're like, wait, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just do it in reverse order. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. We should do that for like April Fool's one We time. should do uh, it. Like, and I will see, that would give us the ability to do like some weird throwbacks yeah, yeah. later on in the episode. <laughs> yeah, we, we we need to we need to sit down and plan some stuff. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, that really reminds me of what you're going to bring up in the next segment. Um, <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Jordan, and that's Pedro. Together with you, Shut Realm Dynamic, helping us form two canes. A Voltron squishiness. Two That's canes, right. one Voltron. I'd, I'd watch that. <laughs> I'm just imagining a Voltron that turns into a toucan. Candy canes. He's candy cane. He's like Candyman, but with canes. It's like Candyman, but instead of a white van, it's a. You know what? Never mind. Candy canes. <laughs> Tap what that eject button. You <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, playing around with a bunch of things. You might have called it uh, the Wednesday. I sat down. I said I was going to do it. And I finally got a chance to do it. I did a live install of um, Fedora Silver Blue. Unreal hardware. We're not using a VM because that's, I'm sorry, you're just selling out. You're like, oh, we're doing a live install and we're running a VM. I'm like, cowards. That, that's, that's cheating. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no risk. There's no, there's you're no, you're not anything. learning anything there. Yeah. And um, it did pretty good. You know, if you don't know about Silver Blue, it's built up, you know, it's flat packs, it's containerization all the way down, maybe. And, uh, you know, it was uh, interesting. Pedro showed up just to make sure I was hating on Gnome enough. And once he was satisfied with that, he went on about his day. He was like, okay. All right. <laughs> I went to make dinner, and then I sat down eating dinner. <laughs> were, you, were you just sitting there? He was like, say something that looks bad about Gnome. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's I, just, I just Gnome. listening. He's, he's, just fine. He's just he, he, eating he, he, dinner. Eating, eating his soup. <laughs> eating his soup. He's like, man, I fucking hate Gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Too real. Uh I did, I did use Gnome, and I reacted to Gnome much like you would expect. Uh, I didn't hate on it, but I had questions, <laughs> which was fine. And um, just to put a bow on the joke, I installed the Fedora uh, XFC system, and that was completely painless. It installed, set up, rebooted. Had a couple issues. Uh, the Fedora mastodon account like retweeted me and somebody who was involved with the uh xfc project and uh fedora and, like, contacted me and they're like hey what do you think as always i'm like don't take any like feedback from me other than like hey it works because you'll just end up with like a workstation good times installed steam installed lutris mm -hmm. that was a uh... The one thing I will say about this, though, and I, I went over this in uh, the like right just live on the video. It's like when I open up software selection and I go to games, Steam needs to be the first thing. Like, yeah, yeah. apparently they didn't have a uh, flat, uh, flat hub. Flat hub. Yeah. yeah. Like out of the box. <laughs> like, I, if I'm going to install games, yeah, I know all these games exist. That's not what I'm here for. Let's quit lying to people. Like, oh, you're here to install Steam. Like, yeah, that's what I'm at the game thing. So, yeah, I had to enable the flat hub repo. Everything else was uh, reasonably smooth. It picked up. It ran fine on um, Rectangle 5600G. Hardware acceleration. We got Half-Life up and running just out of the box. Didn't have to do anything special. Good times all around. Also, I put uh, about two minutes of Linux Teamcast Weekly from last week onto a uh, VHS. But did you rewind? 
Were you kind? <laughs> I had to a couple times because it's like that Disney tape is the one VHS tape I had laying around the house mm. that was in like shape enough to where it would still kind of work. And um, that the VCR is very dodgy. Mm. So it would occasionally just eat tape. So I had to <laughs> pop the top off and like get it lined up just right. And sometimes I'd have to rewind or fast forward just a little bit and then it would start working. So mm. I was able to record about two minutes. And then I figured out a way to play it back. Figured out a way. I have all the equipment to do it. It was just figuring out. Like I had, when it comes to like CRT, I had to bring a TV in here. So I, 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 could, I, I, I saw you. You didn't. You put it up on anything. It was just on the floor. Yeah, I drug it. You know, it's like a CRT <laughs> TV, and um, I had to set it because I was sitting in DaVinci Resolve, like taking pixels down, like one by trying to squeeze it on the um, CRT. To make sure the alignment was right because I got like the aspect ratio kind of right, but it was off center. So I had to figure out, I was like, oh, you just ballpark this. There's no standards for this. Um, <laughs> I posted that. I, I might make, um, I have a pretty decent, like, I got like 10, 15 minutes recorded. It looks so legit. I mean, because it, <laughs> it is. That's yeah. VHS, man. Crazy. It, it, if you've ever seen, like, you know, you see, like, VHS stuff. I don't know why I did it. I was like, curious, and it sounds legit, too. I mean, it sounds like a VHS from the mid-'90s, which is, like, when you see the three-shot, Jordan made that comment. It's like, yeah, that, that that's, that's weird. But when you see a single shot, you're like, oh, man, that is, like, somebody just talking in their bedroom. <laughs> with, like, years a camcorder ago. in front of yeah. like, a Sony like, yeah. camcorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just got that feel and that look. So, fun times. With that, uh, come hang out with me tomorrow, as always, uh, as uh, tune in at 11.30 in the morning to see if fate yet again conspires. It is very much against me doing what I do uh, on Sundays, which is edit this Linux gaming show. AMA, show up, ask me anything, play around, and uh, use me as background noise as I unfortunately don't have any haterade left for Gnome by then. How about you, Pedro Mateus? How, how are you doing? How are things? I, I have plenty of hate uh, for no. Uh, no, actually, I did, this week has just been uh, a little bit nuts with work because there's things happening with the NHS here. It's been all over the news. Everyone in the UK has probably heard about it. But no, no, I, I'm just happy with the um, little standy thing that I got for the Steam Deck. It sits right in front of the monitors and it holds it at just good enough of an angle that it doesn't obscure either of the two screens. So. It works really, really, really well for that. And uh, to improve my uh, audio scape thing, I got these uh, <laughs> little wooden buttons. <laughs> oh, does that really help the, um, you know, just the fullness of the room tone? Not really, no. They just uh, prop up this uh, little table that the monitors are on just enough so I can shove the sound bar under there. <laughs> <laughs> that Pedro. was I needed eight of these and I had to buy that bag back there of a hundred of them. <laughs> so yeah, now I have uh, ninety-two of them just. If you give around. me like <laughs> ma- all right, ten minutes we can workshop this into an audio file product about how it will increase the fidelity <laughs> and um overall. Yeah, 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 you know you know how like you, you get like a, a guitar body made of like really high quality wood, it like improves mm-hmm. the sustain and the resonance. You you put these under your sound bar and it resonates with the entire no, no, room. You you put these under whatever it is the uh, legs on whatever stand yeah. it is on the floor and it helps uh resonate right. yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like those big chunky speakers you put these uh, as the feet <laughs> and we're sitting here in the entire time like nobody's gonna play the audio files are already open their wallet they're like right, yeah, shut up and take my money <laughs> uh, like, give me, like, five sets i need 12 <laughs> how about you jordan tripod life tripod life well I, uh, yeah, I, I bought that tripod to film my gym sets, and yeah, now I'm I'm done my current training block. My nervous system is killing me. Everything hurts, and I get a week off. So that's 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 my that's my update. All right. Um, you want to talk about the sale? Yeah, I guess I guess, I, I guess we got to tell talk about the horse going on sale. Uh, it's buy one get one. Steam. It is that time of year, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I mean, it's not as special as it used to be, and I go over this. It's, it's, it's time. One, one of the many times. Yeah, no, right. It's like, yeah, it's another. Zzz, we, but, uh, I need to buy one of those next time I'm at a party store. Next time, yeah, next time I'm at a party store. Yes, Ben, as much as you go to the party store. <laughs> Spirit Halloween. Yeah, yeah right. Um, yet another sale. Here it is. And did you buy anything? I bought some things. Uh, spring sale. This is through March 16th through 23rd. 
And I went looking around. Now, the big, big news is the uh, Steam Deck is 10% off mm-hmm. this week. So you got like, <laughs> That's the big one. <laughs> eight seconds to go ahead and buy it. And of course, I go to my wish list and like nothing that I had on my wish list was more than um, like 22% off, which is as is tradition. And uh, I did find one thing I wanted to buy, though. I did. Uh, just to complete my Wolfenstein collection, I bought the uh, Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Ooh, it's that Celasta DLC on sale. I might need to pick some of that up. Oh, Celasta. Yeah, it's the D&D 5e PC game. Okay. Yeah. yeah how about you, Pedro? Did you... Um... I have 50... Sorry, 48 games in my wish list, but Steam mm-hmm. is bugged and it says there's 50 there. <laughs> and the one that has the highest discount is uh, Iron Tales. Uh, T-A-I-L-S. Which is the... Um, Batrakotromachia game. It's the the war of the frogs and the mice, and it's uh yeah it I I want to play it, but it's still a little too expensive for the three hour runtime that apparently it has. So it's not enough for me to buy it. So I haven't bought anything yet. <laughs> uh, Four dollars was apparently what sold me on the uh, Wolfenstein Jordan. Yeah, like, that'll yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, f- 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 Under five, five bucks. bucks. <laughs> yeah, I, my 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 fun money is a little spent. We did we did buy the kid a PC game, Hearts of Iron Four, and now I get I get Silent Saturdays, which is great. <laughs> As you're raising your budding dictator, it's a uh... yeah. Listen, <laughs> listen, he can pretend to be a Hitler instead of actually being a Hitler. <laughs> Have fun then with that YouTube. Um, oh boy! All right. So Steam Deck startup movies is uh, you know you you brought up uh, Jordan. The there was a full length movie somebody put on a yeah so some someone <laughs> someone accidentally set their thing when once they opened that up to the entirety of Shrek so mm. and Valve had to go back and make a fix for it yeah which was <laughs> like no they'd already limited to the, the like the length to I think it was fifteen seconds mm. but he uh, found a way to overcome the limitation yeah and decided to test if he could. So then he went. He had to wait for the runtime of the movie. Yeah, you, you know, you know, the years start coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. So um, to celebrate one full year of the Steam Deck not being available in Australia, um, Valve has decided to uh, head over to the point shop and make it. Uh, you know, you can just buy your own movies now. You got uh, we got Turret Factory. I, I bought that one. I actually just bought that one because I had one. a bunch of points and nothing to spend them on. So I, I bought that one. That's my uh, Steam Deck uh, boot screen now. I How many um, Steam points do I have? I dude, uh, upper right, right hand corner, I was like, uh, I have 103,000 points and nothing is minimum. Mm-hmm. OG Big Picture. Oh man, vintage. So yeah, they're all 3,000. <laughs> There's not a lot of them though. Uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. I thought that said Dick Fetty for a second, but it says Deck Fetty. I'm sad. <laughs> what the hell's this? Gerard and. It's some cartoon, yes. <laughs> so it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Dutch cartoon? <laughs> Stipje? That no. seems like a Dutch name. Sure. Yeah, there's stuff on here I don't understand, like that. I have. Oh, th- those are the Steam emojis. The, the default Steam emojis, they're those. <laughs> Huh. Okay, I, I got, I got, I got almost eighty six, eighty seven thousand steam points. I got to spend on some shit. Yes, they got bullets. Mmm, <laughs> pizza. Yeah, I guess you could buy them all. Gunk. Uh, Gumby, Gumby. Fucking oh Gumby. man, steampunk. So this is the one Pedro bought. He bought the. Uh... Mm-hmm. Does that does a little loading, and then the uh, library shows up. There, done. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 Shrek. Whatever. <laughs> you just well, need uh, Mike Myers. You need Mike Myers in a Shrek mask. I, I still, I, I do want to see the the Chris Farley version just, just to, just to see what it's like. Just to see. Yeah, just, just, to, just to see what what the differences are. Because oh man, yeah. couple well, other bits in Steam Muse. Yeah, we got we got the Stinker Launcher has a new release uh, two dot or uh, twelve dot twelve. Uh, it's like a Ubuntu version. For those of you who don't know, Steam Tinker Launcher is a uh, little handy script that you can stick in front of your uh, command uh, settings in the Steam preferences, and it'll bring up a nice little pop-up where you can set up things like DXVK, um, GameScope, mods, all sorts of crap. Um, so they have uh, a couple updates for this one. Uh, the Hedge Mod Manager will now... Hedge Mod. Hedge, hedge Mod Manager. 
Hedge Mod. Hedge, hedge Mod hedge, Wizard. Yes. Hedge Mod Manager will uh, pull its own copy of 7-Zip if it's necessary now. They added a bunch of uh, dialogue options to the game scope uh, UI, including HDR mode, VR support, and a couple other advanced options. The dash dash list subcommand now actually has some syntax highlighting and human readable output so you can actually see where what your games are and map them to their Steam IDs. And also, uh, this wasn't working for a while, but if you set your games to use the Steam Linux runtime through this tool, now it works. It actually respects the uh, the runtime traces, but uh, the the whole hedge mudge manager, as it turns to be called, is hedge that like mudge. the hot new thing? Is, it's, is it's that like the hot new mudge. thing? Yeah, <laughs> because I'm still using Vortex for uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, those are the two uh, games that I have installed that are actively using it. Uh, and I thought that was, you know, the good one, the one that everyone recommended for use with the uh, Nexus mods. So has that changed? If you're into modding video games, let me know. I, I maybe we're, I'm... We're, we're, we're old and out of touch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just need to put a couple of... Uh... Cheat engine trainers on there. Uh, now it does support reshade, which is like I understand that reference. I understand what that is, and a special K as well. So. And uh, the uh, latest game scope improvements have been uh, basically brought in from the Git version. So that's a very good idea. That's a very Except good idea. For like Use whatever game scope <laughs> improvement they've made on the um, Steam client itself, because right now, if you're using game scope on the desktop and you're running the beta client, you might have noticed your keyboard doesn't work when you're in games. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it keeps life interesting it sure as hell does you're like huh well, uh, well um hmm. hmm what can i map to the mouse hmm. <laughs> that's when you uh uninstall the new version of gamescope and you go back to the repo one <laughs> which has been saving my butt <laughs> or, or, um, you, or you you just go from like um dot bin gamescope to slash user local here, here here's the like catch um i rolled it I, like I, I did some a b testing and um i rolled it all the way back to what was available in debian uh, testing which is older than what i was previously using still a problem it's a problem with the client not game scope ah, yeah damn it. damn it steam you gotta <laughs> fix your shit well yeah. uh well steam's not responsible for fixing their shit on ubuntu anymore so, <laughs> yeah so let, let, let's talk about this they this is from the Ubuntu Discourse website. Links to all this stuff in our show notes. They've been uh, they've been pushing the snaps really, really hard, and uh, now they are moving the Steam Snap out of early access. So they want people on Ubuntu who are running Snap to try to install Steam uh, through that. Try to play a bunch of games. They are actively soliciting feedback, and uh, they actually want to you people to use the Proton DB standard of like gold, silver, bronze, and borked. Which, you know, I'm glad they didn't feel the need to invent their own system this time. This is the time. This is the time. Not not all the other times. This time. You know, except for the whole snap thing, but yeah. <laughs> Pe Pedro, talk like that will not get you employed by Canonical. Hey, Clearly, man. yes. You gotta get excited. You gotta feel a little extra sexy because, man, you get, there's nothing wrong with containers and containers, baby. Pop, pop, bubble wrap. Um, canonical, you know, they, they've said, like, they, they're planning on moving the uh steam snap out of early access to stable to which i can be alone as we all turn around uh in unison and ask you had a steam snap <laughs> all right oh. I, I think we'd brought it up at one point when they first introduced it it's like yeah please go test do the thing but yeah, yeah. no i too forgot that it exists <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, yeah because you know there's there's a handy little steam client installer that's just like a debian package that you can just download from their website um, listen, man, we're going to, we're, we're going to Firefox the science out of this potato. Uh, now one thing I did notice is, uh, D D Hollinger. It's like, yo, um, some version of Proton will run games in bubble wrap, whether or not you want it. So how's this handling that? And, you know, there's a link to, um, the also the steam runtime wants to be run in a flat pack, which is part of the bubble wrap flat pack things kind of synonymous. Um, yeah, both, uh, games OS and tree implementations. Yeah. So I was like, how does, uh, how's it going to handle the older games and stuff like that? To which the reply was to, I don't know, the Steam Snap, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently it should work, but yeah, no, older games, they run in bubble wrap because, you know, to ensure compatibility. <laughs> what? I installed a Steam with a flat pack on Debian just to, you know, take the Pepsi challenge, right? Mm -hmm. 
And it had to install like all the NVIDIA drivers and the complete. Mm-hmm. That, that's why I was like, nope, we're that, not that's doing one that. One way to uh, not break the um, the sandboxing yeah. is to have the drivers inside the flat pack yeah. runtimes. That, mm-hmm. That's one way of me going, no, I need a very particular version of CUDA. <laughs> I, I, I need this driver that is certified for DaVinci Resolve. Like, like, um, how yeah, do you have got to lock that in on the flat pack version of DaVinci? Mm-hmm. Yes. No, no flat pack version of DaVinci. Get on that DaVinci. Never will be. They don't even allow it to be distributed. Um, I'm surprised there's a there's not even a Debian for DaVinci. It's a dot run file for Fedora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the uh, in, install script. I don't remember if it uses Mojo installer. It was something similar. It looks like a <laughs> looks like a Windows install wizard. Proprietary um, software. <laughs> oh no, let's not talk about that during our video game segment, Pedro. <laughs> it's more about the distribution method. It's like I'm thinking NVIDIA drivers run ah. file. The old uh, FGLRX run file. No, 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 no. Run distribution. File. You mean like the open source Steam client? <laughs> uh, yeah. The yeah, syrup? That 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 is a deb. <laughs> that is a deb. <laughs> <laughs> Although, as some, as you know, the person that got permission from Valve before they even changed the uh, terms of service on how you could redistribute the Steam client on Linux, mm-hmm. I was told that as long as we don't touch certain specific things, you can repackage the Steam client and distribute it on, say, a distro's repositories as much as you like. Well, proprietary software has <laughs> been uh, distributed as packages because even the Debian, um, like Magic, um, like Media Express stuff, and their drivers are Debian packages. Like, out mm-hmm. of the box, you don't have to do anything. It's ready to go. And you see that or with your, RPMs. You, if yeah, you you've seen RPMs for RPMs. the past <laughs> twenty years, man, with the proprietary <laughs> stuff. So that's going to do that for Steam news. A couple of new games. I threw this in because I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> but I knew these two would have something to say. See, I thought you threw this in because it's like, oh, this uh, it's about mechs. Oh, it's a card game. Never mind. But uh, it's Jupiter Moon's Mecha. It's just a prologue for now. Uh, they're probably going. It's probably going to be free to play until the actual thing comes out. Uh, it's not available. It will be released at some point during Q1 2023 or so. They claim. Uh, they say it's a um, card battler. Uh, turn-based roguelike type of situation with a mech uh, spin and yeah you got me i'll try it whenever it comes out i'm gonna try it yeah because yeah, i know that's i, that's I, I too game. like uh giant robots and card games so yes yeah. i too am on board <laughs> it is it is very much it seems to uh, not much in the way of deck building you apparently just have your own deck as it were and you just play the cards and you win the battles but um, no, I, I I will try it. I will absolutely try it. It, it reminds me of that one. The gameplay reminds me a little bit of that one FTL like game. It wasn't Trigon. It was the um, the other one like uh, Space Debris or something like that. But yeah, um, you you were, you were playing people who like go into spaceships and like scrap them. But it was like a rope like the, the the name of it's escaping me. But it had very similar like deck builder mechanics. Oh yeah. To this one. Uh... Uh, I can't remember the name. Yeah, it, it, Space Cavengers? Some some <laughs> something like that. I I yeah, what what whatever. Uh the, the 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 point is I'm here for it. I want it to come out. Please send us some keys, people. <laughs> yeah. It's make okay. make, make Ben mean, play it. Make him yeah. su- make him suffer. I mean, if you, we don't want to put you out. I mean if you're busy. It's it's, it's good. <laughs> yeah, come so, in, just like kick kick your shoes off. Sit down on the couch. <laughs> How many of you had a Dreamcast? My cousin had a Dreamcast that I wasn't allowed to play. That's probably for the best. I had a PlayStation 2. <laughs> How many of you played Crazy Taxi back in the 90s? At the arcade? Yeah. Arcades, yeah. <laughs> you ever thought to yourself, man, you know, one thing I need in my Crazy Taxi homage, my um, remake, is a little bit of Fifth Element. That goddamn yep. son. Cor- Corbin Dallas, Lilu, Lilu Dallas, <laughs> the full pass. six degrees of freedom. <laughs> oh man, the secret ingredient, bitches, is love. That's uh, that's the uh, fifth element. Yep. Um, gosh, okay, you know what? I just read the description for the first time. Fuck me. Uh, the fifth element yeah. meets Gracie Taxi. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, 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 it is what it says on the tin. It, it's uh, uh, I, I thought I was bringing something to that. Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> dodge mile high skyscrapers, blabbermouth pedestrians, and fast paced race against time. Okay, here's, here's my thoughts on this, because I'm watching the trailer. There's, there's a couple of video trailers on this, and I have to assume that the, the developer, the sole developer of this, has a few hundred hours behind the wheel of it's this like taxi. It's like a 
Joshua's leg syndrome, right? Where like that that trailer <laughs> is by the dev who fucking knows how to move Joshua yes. around. However, so. watching this trailer, it still it, it, it controls like such level of ass that he's still crashing into things. Yep. <laughs> mm. that, that worries me a little bit. However, it's verified on deck and uh, re- reading the reviews of this. It does uh, kind of seem to be another case of like a functioning prototype being sold as game. Mm. <laughs> At least the reviews are mixed now because when the game first came out and I sent the developer emails like, oh yeah, six degree of freedom, crazy taxi, let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the dev came back, it's like, do you guys mind holding off a little bit? I'd rather uh, fix the issues that are causing all of the negative reviews to happen before I said GK is like, that's Can fine. I ask you a question, Pedro? Yeah. So what do you think about a game being complete when there's no intro, no title, nothing, and immediately, as soon as you hit play, it just drops you in the game? Because that's how this thing shipped. No option menus, no screens, you were just it, It's not game. the first time that that would have happened. I mean, remember Limbo? The first time you started Limbo? Straight into the game. Uh, Metal, Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Yeah. Then you go to, like, go to the options menu and there is none? Yeah, no, you, you 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 don't get to the options menu until you finish the first gameplay. It's no, like, no, it's like no. fucking Senwa. Sweetness, there is none. Ah, doesn't exist. Yeah. It's not an unlockable. It's not DLC. It's not an achievement. Achievement unlocked. An options. Yeah, no, it was uh, when the then the developer when the developer said that it's like okay, let's go actually look at the reviews. Like, oh yeah, it's negative. It had like twenty eight percent positive reviews. Oof. <laughs> I don't but, know. Yeah. I mean, um, well, wait, that's cool. <laughs> it looks like there was a, a round of, uh, you know, free products that have been sent out and like this crazy taxi. This is not seems to be yeah. the uh, general. The, the, the driving is stiff. The handling sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotta, like I, said, gotta go back I, to I, I think we got another uh, thing of like functioning prototype being sold to this game, but none of this matters because God damn it. Nothing will get Pedro into the show notes quicker than a fuck mothering. Never wonder night update. Look, they that hasn't happened in like months, over a like year and four months. Uh, because and three days and twenty seven <laughs> seconds. <laughs> the last update that Neverwinter Nights and Has Edition had had was on December twenty twenty one. So yeah, it's been a while, but they're back. They have a new version, uh, new development build. Uh, if you just right click, go to properties, the betas. There's you can pick development build as a branch, and they they have some uh, significant change logs. The, the the Steam post is like, okay, we have a bunch of new things. Just go read that. Uh, provide some uh, feedback on Discord. Like Holy fuck. Everyone. Wait, so do I got to go to their website to read their fucking update? Yeah. Yep. Get absolutely fucked, Neverwinter Nights, <laughs> and everybody involved in this. Oh, yeah, slide into your Discord. Also, double fucked. <laughs> like everyone's doing nowadays, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, no. Instead, big, instead of uh, register on our forums, go to our IRC channel. Yes, uh, it's uh, yeah. The big one is the um, ARM sixty four client. That uh, yeah, that's a new thing. They have a cartoon like post processing shader, which I have yet to figure out how to enable properly. Uh, they have eight uh, up to eight multi class ability. You just change the two D A file, and you can set how how many multi classes you can have, and a positive buttload of uh, actual um, scripting options that have been added now. Just more things in general, and I, I like, I approve, I, I enjoy it. Never wonder. What the fuck is a tune post processing shader? <laughs> Makes it look more cartoony. Sounds yeah, it's the cartoon. Blocky. Filthy. <laughs> so basically, maybe like a cell shader filter. I don't know. The ARCH sixty four thing kind of fucking came out of nowhere. They're yep. doing both the uh, client and the server for Linux, and mm-hmm. like. I would love to fucking see them go back and do that for other Beamdog ports, or maybe even Mythforce. That would be dope as hell if that's just running on, like, Snapdragon. Oh, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, but the eight, eight multi, eight, eight, an eight-way multi-class. Rules is written for 3.0. There's a 10% per uh, multi-class. So if you're doing that, you are losing 80% of your experience points every time you kill something. Yeah, but I guess- you can you can set it in the game to whatever um, penalty you want it. Just change the two D A file, uh, and yeah, I guess if you're just gonna go by default, yeah, no, you're getting twenty percent of your XP. <laughs> hey man, I even hear rumors this game has online co op. Oh, does. it does. We 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 did that. I I, yeah. I dropped in when Pedro was running through this game. 
I, pl- I played my wizard and I threw fireballs at him and I'm like, you, yep. you're a paladin, you have saving throws, <laughs> I don't give a shit about you. I was a paladin ranger, so uh, I had more than saving throws, I had evasion. <laughs> I'll let you please note this review might not be relevant after all these years in 2018. Two- <laughs> uh, child. Um... I mean, yeah, no, now, when now uh, Enhanced Edition adult. first came out, it was rough, but it's much better now, and it's actually better than the original, finally. Well, isn't, the, the game's like, you know, from like 2000, what, 2? Two? 2, originally yeah. in 2003 on Linux. At, these, uh, at this point, you know, the bugs are like, quote-unquote, part of the charm, right? It, it, they're expected, yeah, because like you're kind of like, relying on them. would get just mad at you if you work. fixed them, yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is how the game works now. This is like, well, we got things around it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Implying 3.0 D&D was a well-designed game to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People really liked it when uh, 4.0 came out. There was a, some backlash. There, there, there was. I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. We don't have three days to go through that. <laughs> um... What I about guess the I, DLC is that like uh they're the premium modules. Yeah. Uh, they just, basically finally did a good because some of the premium modules that were originally available for Neverwinter Nights got canned when um BioWare originally started developing um other games and just kind of dropped the ball on uh, Mass yeah. Effect. Uh, basically, it was EA's fault. They said, no, you're going to focus on this and only this. So uh, everything that was pre-EA, like Neverwinter Nights, kind of got the shaft. <laughs> Wait, so like, can I play as Treebeard? Yeah. Yeah? Which one? Treebeard. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> on, 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 only the third one. Only thir- Treebeard number three. Is there like an DLC? The, no. uh, the second expansion, no. you uh, actually fight the Formians, and in the j- third j- expansion, j- you can help a Formian like, queen. If you, if you want to be a tree, just be a druid. Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a bitch ass half ass. Oh, I want to be a tree tree. <laughs> that, 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 that's how you do it. You're a tree with a flaming sword and like fucking full plate. <laughs> You're a tree with a flaming sword. You're about this close from self immolation. <laughs> Also, but, I don't want but, to be but able then to you move. give them hugs, right? And then they, you do extra fire damage. I just want to be like tower defense, but I'm the tower. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, isn't that just dome keeper? Sure. All right. We got some dwarves down there mining. Yeah, Pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh man, do, dome dome keeper across <laughs> fucking rings of power. Yeah. Dw- dw- dwarf keeper. I don't know. All right, coming up next, Godot is kind of being distributed on the Epic Games Store. A little bit. Sort sort of. Also, Twitch's CEO, RIP, but not really. He's just quitting. Fancy shoes. Not as fancy as the AMD guy. Baby baby shoes. Prisoners of the Miss Persistent World. I think I started a character there, and I'm like, no, too much. I'm out. Peace. Isn't that one of the more RP-heavy persistent worlds? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't mind uh, the roleplay persistent worlds. Uh, I I just want to, if I don't want to roleplay and I don't want the f- social interaction, I want to fuck off and have a legitimate way to just fuck off on my own and kill some things. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe don't go into a PW then. I don't know, there's single player no, modules there, for that. There, there were a lot of persistent worlds back in the day that had that compromise. Uh, they were fully working as a Neverwinter Nights type experience, but they also heavily rewarded roleplay. <laughs> I was a DM in oh. one of them for a while. <laughs> no, I, 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 was, I was just talking about like the whole wanting to like kill shit and not be in a persistent world. That's the single player modules for that. Yeah. But what if you, you know, <laughs> you want that Pedro, experience you were just informed play? you were playing it wrong. <laughs> Quit having I fun. I, 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 don't, I don't know. When, when, you, when you go into the multiplayer server and you're like, this single player experience is lacking. I don't know. It seems, seems a little strange. You do no, you. It's not, I'm, 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 I'm it's not going to tell you how to live your life. I'm not your mom. It's not about that. It's about the, I want the option to be there. I don't want that option to be removed for the sake of, no, you come in here and you only role play. Role play is the only valid way. Fuck you. I don't like that. <laughs> you're going to hate this game called GTA 5. <laughs> I played GTA 5 and I didn't like it, no. <laughs> You're in the wrong wrong server, bro. Story, story checks out, yeah. That, 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 yeah, this, 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 this kind of my point, right? Like, 
I'm like going into Disney World and I'm like, where's Bugs Bunny? <laughs> I didn't realize like how deep they fucking rolled on like um a GTA five like RP servers until uh, oh, strangely enough, watching Jason Mewes like get involved with it one time. Yeah. Yeah. It's and he went to buy a car at a car dealership and there were plenty of car salesmen because <laughs> some motherfuckers want to RP as car salesmen. I, I, I heard, I heard some quote the other day about car salesmen where it's like, the more someone looks, uh, the more someone looks like a car salesman, the less I want them to sell me a car and the more I want them to get, be my lawyer and get me out of court. Mm. <laughs> But I understand, like, if you want to play an MMORPG and um, you want to go through it solo. Yes. That, Apparently that FF14 is, is MMO uh, really experience. Good it's like, I'd rather solo as much as I can, and if I have to get in a party, fine, we'll just get in a party. I, for that is one the, the most infinite off. dick move you can do <laughs> as a developer is force somebody to, like, make it a, like, roadblock achievement. Like, you cannot <laughs> increase your level until you, like, oh, yes, you have to be in a party to do the thing. I'm like, yeah, you want to progress in the story? Fuck you, get a party, minimum five people. That's why I stopped playing New World, Amazon. <laughs> oh, I thought it was because your GPU exploded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Neither the 1080 nor the 6700 XD exploded with New World. But then again, I did the right thing and I just used Mango HUD to um, cap it at 60. It's like, you're not going above 60. No. Right there. <laughs> Lip strangle. Yeah, it's what uh, Mango Hood uses. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it could like I don't know, like render a video or something. It'll knock it down to sixty. <laughs> <laughs> the the point was, it was overusing the GPU and then <laughs> causing the capacitors on the back to go pop. <laughs> I mean. Let's all be grateful. That's usually, that's an option we kind of expect in this day and age. Like, right, you're going to have like, if not V-Sync, more and more common, you're going to have the option to limit your frame rate. Mm -hmm. Frame rate limiting is good, especially if you have a Steam Deck. It's, <laughs> Less oh man, it's, it's better it's battery life. <laughs> it's great. You can just do it through GameScope um, for yeah. like the, the deck UI. Super convenient. I just like that being able needs to, to be um, on like the desktop version. The game we're going to be playing this afternoon. This evening, yeah. I didn't need that to run at a 240 FPS at 2160p, and where I could hear the... 1,000 uh, FPS when I loaded into a map. <laughs> hear this. And I'm like, whoa, all right, I need to turn now, you down a little bit. So, see, I, I kind of had the opposite reaction of, like, I'm glad it's not running like shit. Like, no. <laughs> I mean, it's like, very performant. Yeah, yeah, given the level of fidelity present in this game, if the performance was bad, I'd... <laughs> It'd be a little more suspect, right? Like, like, hmm, what, what, what's, what's it doing? Is it mining Bitcoin on my system? Like, fuck. Yeah, no, I remember uh, the first time I launched it, it's like, why are you at a thousand FPS in the middle of the map? And I'm dead, never mind. Mm. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> oh, no, it spikes to a thousand FPS. It's like, you win, you win, you win. <laughs> That game is broken. We'll get to that. I, I, I did not get that one. <laughs> the, the instant victory bug. Not a single time. Yeah, I didn't get I, it I, once. Oh I got, got it five times. I got instant victory and instant defeat. Ooh, I didn't get an instant defeat. <laughs> I got instant defeat. I did hit you get the an start button. for that one too? No. I, uh. I hit the start button. It's like, you lose. Like, but, but why? <laughs> oh, when I hit the start button, player two entered the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want. I wanted to try uh, local co-op, but Lonnie was busy. I, mm. I, I, did, I did not get a chance to test that out. Oh man! Yeah, that like, was, uh, was like what? Fuck! I was just trying to get to a menu. I'm sorry, game. Don't punish me. <laughs> I, I accidentally somehow switched the input to like primarily keyboard, so I had to restart the game. So that oh used wow! The controller. Oh well, I'm sure it's very easy to jack things up in that menu. That menu is it, it's its own special thing. That menu is a mobile game, like. For a phone, because those are yeah, some the, big chunky buttons for you to well, put that, your big fat fingers on. The, well, you know, there, there's a button <laughs> in, in the options menu mode. for a touch input. Mm -hmm. So there, there you go. <laughs> Make use of that Steam Deck menu. I did. I find myself <laughs> using the touch screen when I'm too lazy to like, mm, I don't want to navigate this. 
And let me open my case up and get out my pointing sausage. <laughs> I just have one handy. <laughs> I keep them in my pants. All right. <laughs> All right, so we get news. We get a little bio break. We get goat out of the old republic. Gwotor. <laughs> go to door. Yeah. Go, 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 go to door. Go to go door. It's go, go, go it's, door. It's, it's, yeah, it's go door. It's the ho door. <laughs> Tw 20, go to door. Oh, man. Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, let me do that. Now come back and we'll go ahead and get into it. Oh, man. I ran Curse of Strahd once. I don't know how... I don't know. I, I, have, I have mixed opinions about that campaign. Because I, li I like I6 Ravenloft, but that that entire adventure is not like well designed like but but the expansions to it there's 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 some dumb shit in there no my only ravenloft exposure was prisoners of the miss <laughs> i got i got the uh, i got the og uh, ravenloft second edition box set i found it for reasonably cheap at a convention so i'm like yoink and it even yeah. came with like the fake tarot deck <laughs> Because uh, the the uh, the the way the Ravenloft adventure works is you do a tarot reading and that randomizes mm -hmm. where Strahd is and a bunch of the artifacts you need to de uh, defeat him is every time. All right. Okay. <laughs> so like you 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 have some replay replayability in the adventure. But, mm -hmm. yeah. it, 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 it's it's a good way to do like tabletop roguelike. <laughs> well, Randomization not, not, not... is more limited, but. I mean, I mean, like uh, they they uh, they have a they, in all the DMGs they have a procedure for like ge uh, procedurally generating like every single floor of a dungeon. So you can do you can do like a roguelike type thing. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, though, it's like um, I, I I compare it more to like arranged mode in Resident Evil Director's Cut, where like all the items are in different locations. So like the the the, the sequence of events changes, and because of that, like you will have different outcomes because you have to go to different places in a different order. Right. Uh, I can't remember what it That was a game that did something very similar, but I can't remember the name of. Uh, a, a bunch of games do that. No. What to do? Uh, uh do, do like, uh, they have like a fixed map, but they randomize like mm -hmm. locations of things to like change, uh, to create replayability, but like. Strafe. Yeah. Uh, that the. Oh, like, like a random maps? Yeah, 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 the maps basically. were always the same layout, it's just the rooms were randomized. <laughs> yeah, I was watching um, where I went to bed last night. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Maximilian. He was playing um, Resident Evil Four, like or Resident Evil Two, with a randomizer. Mm. Yeah, th th those are always fun, especially like for. I love watching people who are like super experts at like a game, just like tackle a randomizer because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, well, I know some bullshit that can get me over here, so I don't need this item just yet, mm -hmm. but. I'm going to need it later. So that's what I, yeah. And it, it was like, okay, so yes, way over here. And like, just watching like the inventory management and all the, you know, well, well played. Yeah. I've seen it uh, with like the Zelda SNES game. I've watched a couple of those on, um, yeah, they, they have, they have the one too, that like you can switch between Zelda and Metroid and like Zelda items are in the Metroid map and Metroid items are in the Zelda map. So you got to like scrape for both. Nintendo release the top down Metroid game. Do it. You cowards. Like a, like a twin stick? <laughs> sure. Or is it is it more like pinball? <laughs> what is yeah, Samus? Just so. have, uh, yeah, yeah, Samus, <laughs> Samus rolls up the ball. Like, the, Samus, there, yeah. There, yeah, there, there are just like straight up pinball segments in, in Metroid games, right? Like, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I was being entirely serious. Oh, man. Do you guys have Aldi's? I know you do, Pedro. Yes. I, there's uh, no, I no, think... not one close. Otherwise, Is I'd there... go there, but there, there, there are Aldi's. <laughs> I haven't been to Aldi's in a long time. Um. Uh. Yeah. No. 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 Aldi's in Canada. Mm. Interesting. 
Um, the thing with like all these is you either you bring your own bag. They start. They started doing that here too. Um, Tesco's offers the uh, bags for life, so even when it rips or something happens, you can just take it back to the store and they'll give you a new one. <laughs> well, what, what, what they started doing here is like people were just using the grocery bags as like garbage bag, garbage bin liners, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's cheaper <laughs> than actually buying the, the the garbage liner bags. So now they're just like, we're just gonna stop selling you bags entirely. Fuck you. <laughs> I didn't. Well, I had bought a couple of years ago. I bought like one of the big Aldi like tote recycled ones, you know, that you could fill up. And I'm like, this is awesome. I use this all the time. And I brought it in the house one time. I'm like, just forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh yeah. Well, you know what? I'm gonna buy two. That way, I'll always have one. Then I had two in the house. I, yeah. <laughs> But I finally remembered to put every. It's rare that I drive by the oldies, and I was like, "Oh man, I put the thing in there because I had to get the other thing off." Then it, it was just like hanging on the door at one point, and I, it, fates aligned to get the bag bags back in the house. By the way, um, but I'm doing oldies in a minute. They had uh, the moral of this story is they had grapefruit sized cabbages that were seventy nine cents. I was like, I want, "Yeah, right." <laughs> got gotta get some cabbages. I didn't buy them. I was like, something's wrong with these things, man. They're, they're just overgrown Brussels sprouts? I, they're, they're really? Like, palm size is like, what do you do? Like, well, what? It was, it, 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 it's, all, it's all brassica, whatever the fuck it is, right? Brassica. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oleoracea. They, they were strange enough to where I should have got a picture with them, but I didn't bring my tablet in there. Um, I didn't see anything like any like great deals, but we got like a gentrified oldies, so it's not spectacular savings on anything there was uh like um there was a tesco express and the aldi's across the street uh back near the other place where i used to live but no here is just the uh, big tesco and if i go up the other way it's tesco express that's it <laughs> mm. that's where you can get your grocery <laughs> i didn't realize harris teeters were still around Buy a shopping cart for a quarter. Yeah, see, I, I don't like I don't like having to bring a shopping cart into the relationship, but I'm forced to in some places. I like when they have like the little tiny ones. The baskets. <laughs> I just take I'm, the basket. I'm team basket, but it's like <laughs> any place where I want the basket, the baskets will be out. <laughs> and then or, like you're like, okay, well I'll take the little shopping cart. They'll be out. So you gotta get like the deluxe family size <laughs> sedan. The one that'll fit a person in. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're like, I should be riding in this, not pushing it. <laughs> That's the one you yeah, end up with. I, I just go for the big big cart because I'm always buying shit tons of stuff from the grocery store. Yeah, I'm not. I'm buying like maybe a thing or two and yeah, like, I, I buy I, a basket because that's like a basket of stuff. Because then I'll go another three or four days. I'll go back into Tesco's and get another basket of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm like once every two, three weeks. So load up, mm. do some meal prep, freeze a bunch of stuff. Yeah, fortunately, I live like I'm surrounded. So like I I try to make myself buy at least one week at a time. Worst case scenario, I mean, like, what? Round trip, to, it's 30 minutes to any place like, that I'd want to go? I, I had to do that while I was living in the apartment just because there wasn't enough fridge space. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had, like, a little tiny one, didn't you? Yeah, it was, like, it was like straight up a bar fridge. Mm. Yeah, like... What do you even do for a freezer in that situation? They're, they're, the itty bitty freezer with like three drawers. Yeah, it's that you like the, the drawer at it. the top. <laughs> That's the freezer. Because <laughs> I bought yeah, that mini fridge for um, these guys, and it's got like one of those little. And like I even like went and got some ice trays to put in. They're like, let's see, and like they never really made ice. Like mm. it wasn't cold enough. I'm like, what do you yeah. do the, with the, this? The, this one had like a dedicated freezer, but it was like even smaller. Yeah. There yeah. wasn't even shelves too, so like if you could, if you had to like lay it flat, then you were fucked because there were just drawers. But there were like <laughs> the drawers with like the slanted backs too, so like you can't lay things flat. You got a stand-up freezer now, right? Yep. Yeah, a freezer that you can be pushed into. 
Not me. I'm not going to fit in that fucker. <laughs> you're going to need to take a hat. You're going to have to bring a hatchet or a chainsaw. I didn't say it had to close. <laughs> it is it pushed into. Tipped over into. It might be harder to get out than you would believe. <laughs> yeah. But it'll protect you from nuclear bombs. That's the mm. important thing. If Indiana Jones has taught me anything. <laughs> they were talking, I think they're releasing like three new Indiana Jones Lego sets. <laughs> I'm still waiting for them to actually not release. Not one of them was from the Crystal Skull, and not one of them had a refrigerator in it. Boo! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 they were they're they're saying like, oh yeah, new Indiana Jones movie coming. Like, oh, don't make Harrison uh, Ford run him, please. Yeah, you did it in Star they, Trek. They, it broke my heart. They made him run in the last one too, and he's just like, meh, 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 yeah, and like he's even fucking older now. So shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, you guys working with this? Let us record what passes for the news. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you find it amusing, Pedro. <laughs> it was a North Rangers comment. <laughs> Not snapping his hips back together. <laughs> He's like a popsicle stick. Indiana bones. Google that. <laughs> That's just porn. No, 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 no. Bing that. Bing that. <laughs> Chat GTP for that. Yeah. Write an Indiana Jones pornography film for movie theaters. I mean, and it gives you. Maybe, would you like maybe. me to just bring up the uh, <laughs> the script for the th thirty already existing ones? So, so like, I'm I'm just imagining that one scene from like Indiana Jones where the guy's like swinging his sword around. And Indiana Jones, he just whips out his dick and like comes on. <laughs> the other kind of shot. We're gonna be yeah. here all day. <laughs> let's yeah, let's just fucking let's go. There's just bees. In three, two. The news are coming your way. Do not worry. But uh, yes, we do need to thank all of you uh, who have decided this was a good idea. I, I still can't figure out why, but you know, you decided it was a good idea. So here we are. So I wonder <laughs> if we can get like chat GPT to write an intro for the new segment for Pedro to read. Probably, Probably be about equally as coherent. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe more so. <laughs> But, so here, here's the question: what, what, what Do we, we have to it... Do we have to train ChatGPT on Pedro first? No. Or do we just? No, okay. I wanted to write it in Portuguese, Brazilian. So I'd have to translate it on the go. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> yep. Sure. Sounds sounds about right. And it also means you can ad lib because nobody's going to call you on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was like three people <laughs> that yeah, listened uh, to the show. You, who you, you think speak Portuguese? You think they're going to write it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. We're, they, they, they wouldn't narc on you, Pedro. No, they, 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 like they wouldn't go Dave, to our Spotify uh, Evandro, page uh, and leave us a voicemail <laughs> or head on over to <laughs> patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast hey. and leave us a message. Ah, bringing it back, bringing it back. Yeah, join our Patreon. We got some cool shit in there. You can get access to our Discord channel, which you can also get to by subbing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Get inside. You you can listen to the pre-pre super shows where we talk about bullshit for an hour before we go live here. Uh, you got a custom RSS feed for that as well. Uh, you can get access to the show notes. You can RSVP to game streams. I'm we're finishing up Borderlands. I think we got what, two or three more sessions to go, and then we're, then we're done. Then we're moving on to Strange Brigade. Ooh. Um, what's Strange Brigade? That's the uh, treasure hunting left for dead. Like oh, I downloaded that and tried it. That runs really one. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, yeah, I've been I've been really wanting to try that out. So uh, that that's what's on tap after uh, after we're done Borderlands. Right. And then you're doing Trackmania on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Are you you're doing both uh, the Trackmania Stadium Two and the new one, right? We got a little bit for everybody. Uh, yeah, we do vintage retro classic old school Trackmania squared on Tuesdays and Fridays. But in the after shows, and we we always start, unless it's a nice map. Unless it's a nice map. If it's a nice map, we don't do Cup of the Knot Day on Fridays. But if it's not a nice map, we participate in that. We're a Linux Game Guest. We got our own club. 
and we're representing for the filthy casuals, the part-time players, the people got other shit to do. And we're usually finishing in the top 10, so it feels good. It feels good to see some LGC representation over there. Yeah, that's what and we said. T- we- tell everybody we're running Linux and they accuse us of cheating. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, speaking speaking of cheating, <laughs> we got to thank our brand new Patreons, including Mr. Glorious Eggroll, who decided to drop Ooh. on by. Hello, hello, Eggy. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, we got Jeremiah as well. He was a bullfrog. He was a good friend of mine. I never understood a word he said, but he did give us money on Patreon. And we got to thank NMAG for increasing his pledge. Uh, so thanks a lot for that. If you want to support us, uh, just spread the word. Sub to us on Patreon. We got store as well. Like store and subscribe. Like our podcast we are on technically Smash on YouTube. The bell. Yes. yes. <laughs> the um, I know I make a joke of that, but even even when I brought it up on Twitter earlier this week, because YouTube has now allowed us to turn our uh, playlist into a podcast. Mm-hmm. A podcast. What does that mean? <laughs> we don't know. At all, but I asked the question. It's like, okay, can you reverse the order of the? No, no, you can't reverse the order of the playlist. Why? So what's why, what's the point? <laughs> wait a minute. So why would you want to listen to a podcast backwards? To check uh, for so satanic you could listen to the obviously. first episode first, and then continue no, on down. No, you want to listen to the latest episode. <laughs> you want to listen to the newest? Like, yeah, hey, I'm going to watch this show. What is it? Never heard of it. Let's start at the first episode, but it's Doctor Who. Get wrecked. Um. <laughs> I, I mean, oh, dude, yeah. If you got, if you want to watch LGC, you got to start from episode one. Fuck that shit. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, well, we, this is like the whole thing, man. Um, the Well, this is not an evergreen show. So, yeah. the, I mean, weekly, it's a topical weekly news. weekly news thing. So, and like, unless you wanted to go back and like, but this is one of the... Very unintentional things that we've done over the last decade is uh, to give you a weekly a captured insight into what was going on in the world of Logics Gaming. Mm-hmm. Like you can go yeah. back and track the progress or lack of. <laughs> that was a lot of lack of, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, but- uh, so yeah, <laughs> bringing it back. We got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. Buy some merch. Palm. 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 Dot, palm, po- dot Pomeranian, buy your LGC branded Pomeranians. They will bite you. Um, <laughs> and we got uh, wish, wish Zones as well. If you head on over to linuxgamecast.com, mouse over the support. I have one. Jill has one. Pedro has one. Ben has one. And if you give Ben stuff off there, then he will put your name it in disappear. lights. There we go. Yep. I and, uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if man. you send any of us, uh, any of us, any stuff off Amazon, you can send us a little thank you note. We'll read it on the air within reason. So you can, I don't know, make us say some goofy, goofy stuff. It's going to be within two reasons and a half. One yeah, reason. The, basically, don't get us banned off Twitch. Point don't get us thrown in reason. jail. Uh, that, that's it. <laughs> basically, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll get to getting thrown off Twitch in a minute. But first, we got to talk about Godots of the Old Republic. Yes, go, God Tor. Go, go door. Go with the door. Uh, so, Godot Engine, you might have heard of it. We've talked about it quite a bit. It's our favorite open source uh, 2D, now 3D game engine. And uh, they've been really, really uh, working on improving distribution channels, and they got a new one. You can now download the Godot editor off of the Epic Game Store. Well, sort of. You can, it's EGS, so you can get the Windows client and the Mac client, but that's it. Uh, you can, I guess you could use Heroic <laughs> to install Godot on Linux, but you'd have to run it through Wine. Yeah, but you know, honestly, more more distribution channels for Godot is a good thing. It gets more eyes on the project, more people use it, uh, more people can get updates, and because they're they're constantly improving stuff. Like every time we have a uh, a new Godot thing, they're like, oh yeah, we've completely fixed the lighting or you know improved texture handling or something. So it's 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 like getting your Blender install off of Steam, right? It's just a convenient way of making sure that you always have the up to date version, not have to worry about it. I suppose it's a good idea to put. Godot in front of literally everyone who plays Fortnite just you know bring some awareness because they're never going to look at it because they start Fortnite and that's it the Epic Game Store is just there to launch Fortnite and that's it. the um <laughs> you know when you say that and then I'm like oh well I don't know how to, how do we get it installed uh from the Epic Game Store like can we, can we install like the heroic game launcher in Lutris then use that to uh like download and install maybe yeah. from the web zone probably yeah. <laughs> Someone do that experiment right and let us know about it. Uh, the Godot build you can download from EGS. It's the exact same open source release as the one on the other platforms, except uh, no Linux, because fuck Linux, and it's epic. The sad thing is, is this is what we all expected. I didn't go to the Epic Game Store expecting, like, oh yes, this is a popular open source game engine on uh, all platforms, and of course, hey, this is going to have a Linux version. I'm like, no, there's not going to be a Linux version, because we're still living in the... Um, 
you shocked me. You shocked me when you said, no, the Mac version is available. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that fanfic I would have believed, but like, strangely enough, I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But I knew for an absolute fact, was, there's no way that in like this, we're, we're still living in that La La fanfic. Of like Linux doesn't exist, you guys. I'm, you know, we're Epic and we're here to democratize gaming platforms and all that, long as it's on the closed source operating system that is Windows. Mm hmm. Um, and so Mac, apparently. <laughs> is for your own good citizen. Now, here's the thing, though. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I, I understand that Epic's thrown plenty of good money at the Good O Project, but, but just damn, all right? It would have been just an interesting if line to draw in the sand, wouldn't it, Good O? It, it would have been wouldn't very Wouldn't it have funny. been an interesting thing to say? We will be on the Air Epic Store. That sounds awesome, and we thank you for your support. Fucking butt. <laughs> and you gotta add Linux support. And thus, Godot was never released on the Epic yeah, Game Store. Yeah, no, Godot would have never been on the uh, thing because... And to answer both of you, and nothing of value would have been fucking lost, because we're talking about the Epic Game Store. <laughs> no. <laughs> they then, released then the numbers. Why bother talking uh, They about released it. the numbers, and they had what... Uh, 20 million users something like that oh yeah, yeah. Every, everyone needs to log in and get the free games <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and i'm looking at that oh 20 million users that's a fifth of the concurrently active users on steam good job <laughs> why do you hate freedom <laughs> i know <laughs> quite the opposite freedom it's just a little taste. bit sad that even after all this time and now that they finally have a uh, shopping cart for their online store, uh, it, it, it's, um, it's See, I don't know. I don't understand though. what you're hanging up is like, they, they had enough <laughs> metrics to realize that they didn't need a shopping cart. <laughs> right up until people yeah. started complaining and the yeah. accounts started getting locked. <laughs> yeah, they, they still understand they don't need one. They just put one up just to shut people up. No one yeah. buys more than one thing. If that. It's not like people bought two things at one time. Buying, store. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I go through the checkout dialogue yeah. for my free game. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like there's never in that's the what most record. people do on the Epic Store. Yes, they go there yeah, to get the free game and get out. No one's ever had an actual need for a shopping cart at the Epic Store because no one's ever <laughs> bought more than one thing at a time. Even if that, but no, it's I those just, damn custom Linux kernels. <laughs> I would have liked. To um, you know, especially with like the Steam Deck, and I understand like they get they get a hate boner, and you know they're they're against choice and freedom of choice, and so we still need to pretend like uh, you know it, it's a very um interesting position to take when you're pretending something that clearly exists and is like the thing powering the servers that they're probably hosting it on. And the Steam Deck, and like, like, it's a very uh, best Korea type way of looking at like things not real. La 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 la. Like, it, it, I think the the whole is like, okay, Valve is pushing Linux. Everything you know, Steam Deck runs on Linux. Yeah, and they've been paying a bunch of Linux developers to improve uh, gaming on this side of the open Penguin. source developers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Epic's going, oh, so that's Valve's little thing, so we're going to do the diametric opposite of it and just fuck that. No, we're not going to support See, Linux that because that's Valve's thing. That, they couldn't be doing that because they're, they're trying to help people out with freedom and choice, Pedro. So what you're describing is not the actions of a company that would be doing such a thing. I no, mean, cognitive uh, or the company that the pays the developers game, right? to like, maintain their games um, exclusive on their store for a year. I I mean, I, again, the Epic is giving away all these free games, but they got to remove uh, old games from, you know, just being able to be downloaded. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, no, the, the games that were being hosted on fucking GOG can't buy them anymore. You know, oh. I really like how they took it like an extra day to make sure they were removed from GOG, because we were talking about, <laughs> so go, hey, at least we can still get them from GOG. Like, yeah, that's right. They're, they're like, like, oh, God shit, right. more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. It's well, like good job. That that that's real AAA games publisher behavior well, right there. Just you know, spite. We'll just call it the Epic Revisionist History Game Store. Whatever you want to do, man. Let, let's <laughs> pretend Linux is not a real thing. Uh, probably not the only thing you pretend it doesn't exist. Let's talk about Twitch. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a changing of the guard over at uh, Twitchland. Uh, the uh, the em Emmett Shear, the uh, former uh, president uh, or the former CEO of Twitch. Uh, who was one of the OG Justin TV people, one of the original three employees. 
Um, Justin just TV, what's that? Justin TV was a was the precursor to Twitch back when uh, the dude named Justin was running it, and he wanted to stream videos of himself. Uh, eventually, got transformed into Twitch, the the Twitch that we know and loathe today. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's been 16 years, and he has decided to step down, citing that he wants to tw- Twitch was his baby, but now he's got an actual baby, so he wants to take care of that. Uh, he's still going to be remaining on the board and an advisory capacity, but the current president of Twitch, Dan Clancy, is current is going to be taking over from him. Do we do we got to blare the trumpets? Do we got we got any fond memories of old Emmett? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like the first flag that I get is like dudes leaving to spend more time with his family. I'm like, mm, I mean, yes, and you know that, that that's a pretty often like the code for like fuck this noise. I'm out. It's been a good run. But what you got to think about is he's been doing this for 16 years too. So and he's also not running the show anymore. No matter where you're at, even if you were one of the founders, like Amazon makes the decisions now. That's just how it is. And the new guys rolling in, I've seen some mixed stuff about him on the internet. Like people are a little worried because he was one of the people behind uh, implementing and pushing for the 50 50 split on Twitch. Mm. Which, you know, notably, uh, a lot of creators had a problem with because, you know, they're definitely going to just 50 50 with everything, no special deals or anything like that anymore. And a lot of people are going to be giving up some income, bigger streamers. But. You know, this guy, uh, the new guy coming in, he's worked for NASA. He's worked with the Google Books Project. And um, for like little people like us, I don't think anything's ever going to change. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they could do away with the pretense of Twitch being its own separate platform from uh, Amazon. And yeah, I don't think it would change for most people. I, I don't think that's I don't think that would necessarily be a consequence of like a change in like CEO leadership. But yeah, like I, I think for the most part, at least for like the in the, in the next like six month period, I don't think there's going to be any real changes. But you know, inshittification ensues, so we we can always just look forward to all online services just progressively getting shittier and shittier as time goes on. Well, I mean, such is the way of things, and you know, I guess like maybe the one thing you could always worry about if you need something, you know, if you if you get up this morning and like shit's just going too well, lads, um, if you need something in the back of your head. You could definitely say this guy's like, ah, shit, I don't want my name associated with what's coming down the pipe. I'm out. Peace. (laughs) I mean, uh, the incoming CEO uh, was also the one that made the cuts to uh, the big streamers last year. The 50-50 thing I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, So, yeah, there's uh, (laughs) there's probably he was the like the one who's leaving is probably going like, I didn't like that. Well, you well, see, you can fuck off. I mean, this has affected even like people I follow. Uh, what's uh, it me, JP? Mm-hmm. He's we, uh, we all re- love JP. He's all started, uh, he's had to start a patron because he's yeah. like, shit, I'm gonna lose like 20% of my uh, income, yeah, to uh, and that's it. It's messed up, but yeah. like, if you got that single source of income and you're relying on that, do we what needs to take place? What is gonna What's going to be the next thing? What's going to be the next company? Because we've already seen, we just say nobody could ever do anything with YouTube. Nobody could ever out take YouTube. And we didn't. Twitch never really took on YouTube. It took on a side project that YouTube yep. just couldn't handle, which was <laughs> live streaming, which you can do. You can do better on YouTube, but people don't use it because it's not associated with. Um, it's not where people go for the streaming. Yeah. And even the the whole YouTube gaming attempt, uh, which is still languishing there, you know, <laughs> for how many other services Google has killed in the meantime, YouTube gaming is still there. Have, so I, I have I haven't looked into the, the the YouTube streaming stuff in a while. Have they changed the interface again? Because that was the thing that kept pissing me off. All the they time. kept like, yeah, that, that's why no one's fucking using YouTube streaming is because no one can figure out how. Because well, once you learn, they change the UI on. Yeah. It's not as crazy as he, the biggest thing was like YouTube that really set me off is there. We used to be able to just have a page and like, Hey, go live, like on Twitch. And now mm. it's generated each and every single time. Mm. Like anytime I want to go live on YouTube, I have to go live on YouTube. And then I can share the URL. Mm. I can't mm. just have like a static URL. I'm like, I don't have time for that. And at least Twitch is like, Hey, you just go to the page and do the thing. What is going to be the next thing? Or, or are we going to see an evolution of uh, what we have now, or do you think it's going to be another surface? Something will eventually well, come along. And Instagram used to have the live streams. A lot of uh, influencers back in the day used to use the Instagram 
streaming. Uh, well, there's TikTok. TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> uh, t- like TikTok isn't necessarily built for like that sort of long form content though. Oh, Maybe. but they've did it. Yeah. Like that's a, like the live streaming to talk, the live TikTok streaming. Yeah. You can just start thing, like, streaming. Like, those tools yeah. are there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so uh, may, maybe I don't know. Maybe Facebook? maybe maybe uh, Facebook already <laughs> tried and failed, right? Like that was uh, <laughs> Facebook bought the uh, Microsoft gaming. one and yeah. then shut it down. <laughs> but I mean, Facebook absorbed that because Facebook gaming is a thing inside of mm-hmm. Facebook. Right? Mm-hmm. That is like yep. its own category for streaming. So what is it other than it's like we don't fucking know? Like what would you like to see, Jordan Zwang? What would I like to? See? I don't know the 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 fucking crack smoking pipe dream is an ecosystem of like many many streaming companies or like maybe maybe some sort of decentralized peer to peer something i don't i don't know some some or i don't something with like a, a decent model where creators can make like a modest income because we had we had i think the the problem is like with twitch when you have these guys who are pulling in like hundreds of thousands of dollars creates a bit of an unrealistic expectation i think maybe maybe creating environments where people can make more modest money and then like supplement that with more side projects i think is probably a more sustainable thing i don't i don't i don't know what would actually be required from a technology standpoint to do it but I don't that's think why it's there about are... the technology at this point i think it's about the money money well yeah, yeah well of, of course it's always going to be about the money and at that and at that point i think it's going to be like uh, other other services will rise up to offer like it's what Twitch used to be, it's what YouTube used to be, and then they're gonna inshitify and it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. I I, re- I read something interesting about how like platforms have sort of like captured all of the um all of the available users more or less, right? So the only way to like expand and make more money is to make things more shitty and charge people for the stuff they used to get. Yeah, so, dilute it, make it more appealing to the mainstream. How <laughs> lowest common denominator? That? Hang on a minute, let me change my Discord theme real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so so really I, I i i don't know the the like the, the that, again that, that was my pie in the spot sky like pipe dream thing the reality is that it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and mm-hmm. it, I, 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 don't, I don't know i don't i don't know how it's going to get worse and i don't want to speculate because my worst idea is probably going to come true well I, I was talking back and forth with a couple people in hacker news about this a particular topic and i'm like at the end of the day, like I've always treated Twitch the same way as I treat YouTube. It's a content delivery network that, like, every couple of months, will write you a check for twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like that's that's pretty good for a CDN. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to pay for the hosting, and you're gonna give me some money over now. That uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but at what cost? Though? Like, at what data is mined and users and all that other? Yeah. What yeah, what, but, what, right, what rights do you have? Your, literally your, sense, none. your, 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 your speech is like the extremely down. censored. Yeah. You get, and it's that, and you're chasing, you know, it's that race to the bottom of the brainstem. You know, it's like the YouTube suggestions that I see every time I log into our dashboard. It's like, no, no, no. You need brighter colors, quicker things. Uh, don't, don't focus on, you know, what you're trying to educate people on. No, 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 no. You, here's, here's some topics to go chase that our advertisers really like spending money on right now. So why did you make some videos about this stuff? I've been fucking with the algorithm for the past two weeks. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. Big red. No, I, I'm just trying to confuse it at this point because I, what I'll do is I'll go to a last week's episode and I'll pause it and you know, it brings up that uh, film roll. Mm-hmm. And I look at like whatever the text is for the past two weeks. Last week it was big red letters. Ah. Most of them. So I just no, okay. so, so this, 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 this is the war that you're you're doing with the thumbnails now. I I'm just fucking with the algorithm at this point. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. A fans only share face too. Very good, bike me. Very good. <laughs> so, Doom Three, the classic. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Yes. The the classic that was uh, very divisive back in the day, like no video game before it has ever been. No sir. Especially it's, sequels. Sh- you shut your whore, but it taught me to walk into I, a had a Linux port out of the box day one. Uh, B taught me to walk into rooms backwards. Yes, <laughs> See, the, co- the, co- the co-op works sometimes. Just don't get on the train. But yeah, no. There's a mod that's a bit of more of an overhaul. Uh, it it changes a great deal many things. It makes the movement speed of the Doom Marine more in line with the like Doom One, Doom Two. And it sets the default FOV to 120. Uh, <laughs> it makes the uh, footstep sounds, uh, you know, the quake hit markers, the, the do 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 do. Yeah, th- those are footstep sounds in this one. And that 
pissed me off. Uh, but hey, good news. It's available on ModDB, the uh, Nexus, uh, the link on Nexus mods. It's been uh, flagged for being um, automatically quarantined and maybe unsafe. I, there's a DLL or two DLLs actually in the uh, folder uh, because the game x86 DLL was a necessity for Doom 3 uh, on Windows. But it works with Doom 3 on Linux. Oh, I remember this level. Oh, fuck yeah. this level. <laughs> where, where, where am I? I got turned around. Shit. Wait, this is where I came from? This fuck. Jordan, I saw our PTSD moment. Yeah. Uh, no. And yeah, no, no the, the, the game, it, it does the, like the auto exec bat file that it comes with is, uh, yeah, 120 <laughs> FOV and a stupid um, movement speed. Uh, it, it does what it says on the tin. I played enough to just get the pistol and hear what the difference in sound was like, and it does deal more damage instead of taking three shots to take down one of the regular zombies, it takes one. So, there's that. Uh, and it's... It it works. I suppose. <laughs> I, I don't care enough to be perfectly honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I've done my Doom 3 trenches mm -hmm. with Ben. I, I, I've, I've I had that Doom 3 just not clean out of yeah. my mouth, man. I'm good. Yeah, I, I, I have, I have it, no the, desire the problem to The here it. was that it, it made it more like the classic Dooms, so I'm like, all right, okay, but I, I ended up getting uh, pissed off at the footstep sounds, because why the fuck would you do that? I, I want, like, the, I want them to change why? it to, like, the, the, the Fred Flintstone, like, twinkle toes when he's about to bowl, like, doo -doo -doo -doo. The, the xylophone? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this next story comes from Hot Hardware. As they tell the world, watch Half-Life 2 run smooth as butter natively on Raspberry Pi 4. So what I need you to do is queue up the uh, Melodica Jurassic Park. <laughs> as it's running at roughly 13 FPS. <laughs> I mean, that's about, that's about as well as it ran on my computer back in 2006, so it's authentic. Uh, it is running in Raspberry Pi 4, however, which is, uh, that's kind of dope. That's kind of neat. I mean, look into our bright future as the person brags who can afford a Raspberry Pi 4 in 2023. <laughs> I mean, we're not all made of wet, stinky cash, but yeah, this is taking advantage of that 2018 uh, source code leak, right? Yeah, they uh, yep. they had the source code. They man they managed to port and compile it for ARG sixty four, which I get like, yes, it runs like ass, but still, it's Half Life two running natively on a Raspberry Pi, man. That's that's pretty badass. Oh yeah, it's hundred percent. Um, I don't really have a whole lot. I'm there's there'll be a link to the GitHub repo if you want to play around. Um, yes, if, if, if you are if you are uh, one official of the lucky... open sourcing of the source engine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like this is like one of the weird ones though. Like where where you at, Valve? Where you at? Like wh wh what's the point? Like why not just open source? Uh, source. source. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, th I think they're waiting on like I don't I don't I don't know what they're waiting on. I I guess Source I, Two I, still uses a lot of the original source. So yeah, and that, and that's all like <laughs> stolen. That's not stolen, but like purchased like Quake assets or Quake code, I think, because it started off as a modification for Quake. That was uh, gold SRC. The, the yeah. that 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 was like the original engine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. This is, this is this is neat to see. But yeah, it's. I think much like everybody else, so we're like, yo, why why don't we have the source to Half Life Two yet? A lot of people are like, fuck if I know. I, oh, did you but see? No, the, uh, now that uh, someone's actually successfully extracted the uh, the files and built a version that can work on. A Raspberry Pi, so it'll work on anything. I want to see an open source source reimplementation that's actually you know uh, free to be distributed, not with the limitations of uh, this technically got leaked, so it's technically in the public domain. We can situation. call it quarter life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no full just, life. A, a <laughs> life, that, Roy. A life. Full, full, life, full life consequences already exist. Though. I did see that. Um, <laughs> Valve has uh, filed a patent. Or uh, CSGO 2. Yes. Uh, uh, some binaries leaked, and Pierre-Luc Graffet confirmed that those are legit. There is, no. uh, there is a CSGO the 2. Uh, NVIDIA drivers yeah, leaked C that. CSGO 2, uh, <laughs> and so they're doing a trademark for it. And I read that, and I was like, damn it, I wish I was on the CSGO. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> you, you, know, you know, you just copy CPCS to mm. CS2.exe. There you go. Mm -hmm. Ported. 
So our last story of the news uh, is second. Second. Oh wait, last. Never mind. I can't count. No, not very well. Not this evening. Uh, why <laughs> you should stick with Windows over Linux for gaming? From MakeUseOf.com, Valve Steam Deck revolutionized Linux gaming, but there's still a few good reasons why you should stick to Windows PCs. For now, just a few, just a few though. I mean, calm down, calm down, because here we go. Here we go. This is yet another in a long list of articles answering a question nobody asked. But hey, man, and somebody needed to write some words. And, you know, again, like nobody is suggesting that you give up your um, Windows gaming rig for Linux. It has not been done. You know, it, you know, if all you do is you play your games on PC, you get a game. That's, that's it. That's your Xbox. That's your PS5. It just happens to be the PC. You know what? Keep fucking Windows. It's best for you, man. Not to overlook, like, the work that's been done. You know, Wine Valve to help Linux users is, like, super easily play games on top of all the other cool shit we get to do on Linux. That, that's, a, that's this show right here. It was like, hey, we're running Linux day in and day out. Look at all this other cool stuff we get to do. And we get to play games. Fuck yeah. Hell. Um, we're living in 2023. You know, one best, arguably best mobile gaming devices on the market right now. Runs Linux, period. That's it. And yeah, I know. I know. Somebody's getting ready to type into the YouTube comments or maybe trying to make the funny ha-has and like, oh, not, well, maybe if I can get my audio working under Linux, they're going to make that joke. And uh, why would you publicly admit that you couldn't get audio working under Linux in 2023? That's sad. That's sad. Also, I want to know exactly what audio hardware you got going on. Um, uh, PC, uh, PC speaker doesn't play my YouTube videos. Pedro, the, the audio hardware is I've never installed Linux in my life, but I heard this is what the people say. Um, yeah, quit, <laughs> ah, the dream lit, audio. Quit <laughs> trying to pretend you're smart enough to install an operating system. Step one. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Here's the so, thing, though. Uh, I, oh, this does go off. Let, let, let's be fair to this. Uh, restrictive DRM doesn't fucking matter anymore. Third party launchers, the valid complaint, uh, Linux emulator support. Okay, they had to dig so deep. And two. so, yeah, the, two. Two yeah. fucking emulators Z that don't Xenia. have a Linux version right now. <laughs> Xenia and the Xbox the 360. One. Yeah, yeah they, and the they, PS4 they legitimately one. <laughs> dragged out two fucking pieces of kit that no one's ever heard of. I'm like, okay. Um, I don't know. Two hard... emulators, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Third party no, tools. Never, never mind RetroArch. Just that, that entire yeah. Linux-based emulation yeah. Hey man, shut system. up. Uh, yeah. Listen, you, all of your cheat engines might be a little bit dodgy, but don't worry. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a way for you to download your um, like hacked, pirated, uh, virus-encrusted, whatever. Uh, latest and greatest day one. Yeah, that's right. Your shit can be broken before anybody else's. And um, yeah, but this, this, this all starts from uh, just false pretense of no one's trying to convince you to get rid of your Linux gaming machine and install Linux. No one. I, th I think it's at this point, every tech website is kind of obligated to have this article. Cause it's, and it's like, they're almost copy pastes of each other. Cause they always say the exact same stuff. It's, mm -hmm. It's kind of funny. Well, I, 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 is this Microsoft article actually... has to write itself because, again, I will, I'll, I will stand. <laughs> it is coming from a false pretense because nobody, including Valve, is saying, format your fucking Windows machine and install Linux for gaming. Nobody's saying that. Period. I am, but that's just because I'm an asshole <laughs> and I want people to have broken computers. <laughs> it, it, as someone who supports Windows for his day job... Um, Fuck Windows. Uh, but no, uh, is Microsoft actively going around paying all these tech websites to spread a bit of FUD? Because I honestly don't think they are. Uh, although I'm sure they appreciate the free advertising that literally uh, every single one of them are giving them. But why? Why would you? I mean, I mean well, with this I mean, shit, the, why? The, the, the answer is because we're talking about it right now. That, the, that's that's the unfortunate reality. This is just clicking. Yeah. We, 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 if you we, need to write some words, but uh, also this is like a nice warm hug for Windows users. I'm like, yeah, yeah confirmation yeah. bias. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah what, what do you say when you when you go online looking for? Did, did I make the right decision? Internet, please confirm confirm what I my bias. And I need you to think about it the right way. This is the same type of person who's like, oh yeah, you got a PlayStation Four, like say back in the day, or PS3, and back in the day, and yes, I side examples like, oh yeah, are you happy? You want to put Linux on? You're like, no, like. Uh, completely understandable and i feel yeah. the same way with somebody who's got you know the, hey man I, I set up a linux uh, not even linux i set up a windows gaming rig i use this play this windows games and all that do you want to install linux on it probably not 
But if you got that curiosity, you're like, fuck yeah, I want something to play around. I want to learn how this thing works, then, then go fucking do it. But I will, again, hammer this home. <laughs> Nobody's saying, format your fucking gaming rig to install Linux for better performance or anything. No and if one, someone is saying that, you need to mute They're that a Windows user. Instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Complaining about not being able to get their audio to work because they never... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Although they bring up like the Nuvo. Oh, the Nuvo makes games not work on Linux. That hasn't been the case in over three years. The fuck? <laughs> uh, and I mean, like, la- la- launcher woes. Everyone fucking hates launchers. Like, yeah. The, yeah. The launcher is breaking games on Windows, too. When Rockstar, they bring up the, uh, the social club. When they did the original update, it was broken on Windows 11. People already using Windows 11 couldn't play the fuck game. <laughs> How to activate oh. Windows 11 with the Windows 7 key? Chrome tabs. I, I'm looking at like I have. I know make use of is a legitimate website to whatever, but there you can see what they normally. It's mostly tech stuff. All right. Yeah, hmm. I, I think it was a slow news day, and then you yeah. need to. Need it's to like okay, else. we got to meet our word quota. Just It'll make dr- some shit up. Hey, <laughs> the, like like I said before, this shit drives engagement. We're doing it now. Whoa, uh, engage. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up next, uh, we're gonna try and engage a game, and it's gonna gonna fail us on multiple levels. Levels. Let's uh, let's throw some shares of scrappage. North Ranger Jason has had some uh, shit takes. <laughs> Jason's a freelance contractor. He's out to make money, dude. Like, don't hold that against him. I, I I'm not. Uh, I'm just saying. Um, a lot of people seem to hold him as like the Linux journalist, but dude's had some bad takes. Hmm? <laughs> well, he worked. I mean, he's never been. When people say like the Forbes, and like he never worked for Forbes. He it, writes for Forbes. <laughs> he was a contractor for Forbes the magazine, which has nothing to do with Forbes the magazine, mm-hmm. the website. Forbes is, Online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For, Forbes Online is completely isolated from the Forbes magazine. Yeah. The um. And I don't bring that up to detract in any way, shape, form, or fashion. That's just like understand reality. You're talking about a part time contractor that has multiple, you know, like wherever they can get work. And guess what? Dude got a lot of bytes writing about Linux mm-hmm. that showed up at Forbes.com How, for whatever reason. Capitalize on that. See it as a good thing, which it was. Mm-hmm. But, you know, and then, and then there was the pivot thing. Jason was like, well, I need to branch out because I'm not getting, not getting enough clicks on these uh, Linux articles. So instead of I, being the Linux guy, I'm going to be the general tech guy. And everybody went, bye. <laughs> All right. Peace. <laughs> but fortunately, he landed a job at uh, Mozilla, I think. Thunder Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so it worked out. He doesn't have to worry about... Uh, keeping track of the Linux anymore. (laughs) The stop sign shield! The stop sign shield! (laughs) Oh! I did did get Han... I did unlock Han Solo's blaster. That was one of the uh, rare item drops I got. They have a couple. They have the, um, yeah. uh, what's the Judge Dredd pistol called? Oh, the, the Justifier or whatever. Lawbringer. Something that's like what it is. Lawbringer. Yes, Lawbringer. <laughs> they have that. Just, Justifier um, was from the X-Men. Mm-hmm. Getting my comics mixed up. <laughs> All right. I don't think it. No, I didn't think I picked up picked up any other like famous weapons. <laughs> I I'm also getting my uh, indie games mixed up because I know that uh, Nightmare Reaper has a lot of uh, famous guns with just slightly altered names. <laughs> This is an interesting collection of like um models. Oh, it's got a website? Mm-hmm. Alright. I got a website. Borderlands has some pretty good gun names. Some some of them are pretty funny. 
Does the website not work? The website is down. Well, I mean, I'm not able to connect to it. Geekspree.gemmies. DevTools! What's going on? No, it works. Hey, oh, hey uh, there, there it goes. goes. <laughs> Network. What was taking so long? Uh, oh, it's got to load all these fucking videos. That's why. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. And mine's in German. Yeah. yeah it defaults to uh, Deutsche. <laughs> Press kit. Oh god. And of course the ubiquitous uh, Discord link. <laughs> Have a Discord. Discords are awesome. Make good use of it, but don't make it a requirement to get shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was many games that I've Here's wanted the to requirement ask for you should have for your Discord. Here's your requirement. <laughs> Would you like to have a conversation with us? <laughs> then join our Discord. Outside of that, done. Oh, that just winds me up so much. Right, I need to pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Raspberry 400 never really took off. It's kind of anemic in the old uh, Rambus department, too. Being 4 gigs. What is this? Like, 4 gigs is... Like, 8 gigs is small. Ugh. These days. Like, SBC should have, like, I mean, you have 16 and 32 with the uh, latest rock chips. Oh shit, I do have a Pi 4. Okay. What's in here? I thought it was a Pi 3. That's oh. a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. How many, um. Gigs of RAM? I don't know. I stole this from the kid because he's not using it. Ah. It was an acquisition. Yes. I have, I have yet to do anything with it. But I found I was so I I, po I posted that uh, that that uh, picture of like the organizing solution for people with ADD in the bin. One of the other things in that bin was the Raspberry Pi. So he's not missing it. I have a little arm lab set up now, so I'm gonna do something with it. I guess I can just use it as a storage server because it's got the two uh, two USB three. three okay. Things, like, a... Um, it's got plenty of grunt for being a collector's antique item. Yeah. The um Yeah, it's kinda of weird. Like we're we're in year four of like you just can't buy a Raspberry yeah. four and there's they haven't come out like, well, you know, hey, maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. well, you know Let if, me if, rephrase if, that. You can't buy uh, us peasant consumers can buy yeah. Raspberry Pi fours. If, if you're a company, you if, can get if them. you're if, if you're Disney or if you're whoever the fuck, right? Like yeah. yeah. It, it, it really went very quickly from, oh yeah, hobbyist computing project to like, no, this is what hardware is now. Everything is just some shit hooked up to a Raspberry Pi. Uh, that was an interesting... I guess it used to be Arduinos. Well, what's it, well, like for the Raspberry Pi Foundation, that was an interesting pivot. But like, we're going to serve our enterprise customers first and foremost. Yeah, it was it was all for education back in the day, but now uh, not so much. I, I guess you, it's all about the Benjamins, right? Cream and cash then, yeah. rules everything around me. The only thing I don't like about that is I'm still trying to pretend it's not. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 a little disingenuous. Eben just needs disingenuous. to be like, listen, man, I like money, all right? Yeah. He's got to pay for more degrees. That, 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 that was my takeaway from my dinner with him. He's addicted to getting degrees. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it was malicious or bad. It's just... Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... And I, I've said it before on Wednesdays, man. Like, the next generation 
like the seeds have already been planted for the next generation of people who are going to be into SBCs, and it's not going to be Raspberry Pis. Yeah, it's all going to be uh, rock ship. Rock ship's the yeah. big one now. Fourteen-year-olds uh, working a part-time job or not having anything the allowance button. They don't. They don't have two hundred bucks for a Raspberry Pi four eight gig. No, they got to spend it all on Fortnite skins. <laughs> right, Robux, baby. Or you can toil in the Roblox mines for the Robux. <laughs> Mm-mm, shower flavor. That's still like one of the ones. Uh, we got to do something like that Raspberry Pi 02W I have. Like, we might be doing a stream eventually of uh, setting up um, RetroArch. Oh, I was going to say animatronic Frank. <laughs> no. It's like, it's, yeah, like like the, the, the plant where they hooked it, hooked it up to the sensors that like control the machete. Right. It's just like swinging around. Just took up Frank to that. Just be like, Mah! Oh, man. We're going to use pneumatics. Why? More explosive. Yeah. Yeah, I use my Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig to control the Steam Stream Deck. That's all it does. It cuts <laughs> on, it does that, and I cut it off. And I never cut it off correctly. I just kill the power to it. And it boots back up. You gotta get it just so, Pedro. It's just, otherwise it makes the uh, top of my head itchy. Because the <laughs> stitching is a bit shit. <laughs> so I need to fold it around a little bit there. We can get you something to protect the back of your skull. We'll get you a little skull cap. <laughs> a, little, a little yarmulke for yeah. Pedro. <laughs> Uh, hashtag not Jewish. <laughs> it's all right. Nobody gets in trouble. Oh, yeah. you, you know what? I'm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> uh, we can buy you a little helmet. <laughs> oh, no. We got to get him like a little World War One like German helmet with the spike. Oh, okay, so just, you know, immediately go the other way. <laughs> World War One, Pedro. One. The first one. Kaisers and shit. Yeah, Kaisers. That's, that's, that's our new podcast. That's our podcast, yeah. history Kaisers, of Kaisers and, yeah, and shit. Kaisers and shit. <laughs> we also talk about making sandwiches with artisan bread. Yes. The actual Bismarck. <laughs> Otto Vaughn. Uh, Alan, yeah, I could plug, uh, I could run the entire lamp stack on, uh, Threadbooker. Lamp. Yep. Are you, are you lamp or lamp? Uh, I haven't really, I honestly don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's Nginx, uh, SQL and some some PHP. Uh, what's uh, Lamp is Linux Apache MySQL PHP and Lamp is Linux Nginx MySQL PHP. Um, there's a GNOME um bit of software that uh, is specifically for hooking up with the Stream Deck. It's a part of GNOME 44 Alpha, I think. Yes, Das Auto von Bismarck. <laughs> <laughs> Opal <laughs> Bismarck. <laughs> so what oh, are you man. saying, Pedro? There's a GTK app for the Stream Deck? Uh, yeah, but it's uh, supposed to be fully self-contained. That was like the big thing that they were... Oh, there's uh, plenty of about. those. <laughs> I, I, I just came up with a terrible idea for, for a new PC uh, uh, metrics tool. It's called Auto Avon Benchmark. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bit focus companion. Uh, what is it? It's not Apache, is it? Maybe. Uh, Gen generally, for lightweight stuff, they go Nginx or Tiny HTTPD. Right. Or, I would not uh, thought this would be this like difficult that. to track down. Um. Or, 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 or my new German diaper company, Otto von Skidmark. <laughs> I 
there. That's the uh, the gnome stream deck thing. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Yeah, bit focus companion might be a bit uh, high yield czar bomb if all you're looking for is to put pictures and buttons together. Might be a little bit too much for you. <laughs> yeah, I want to say this is the 4 gig model. It doesn't say anywhere on the PCB, but... Yeah, um, one of the cool things you can do is, here I can pull this up, make sure I don't have any like, is say you're not going to be limited to like one surface or like one stream deck and you can do it over the WAN, over the LAN. But also it works with like your DMX lighting systems, it's fully scriptable. I found Is the use, uh, uh, Python or Lua URL for it. Include that there too. There, <laughs> boat sway. <Boat> sway. <laughs> but um, Stream Deck is like one of like two hundred and eighty things. But focus could be in your control. Along with like your DAW, again, like your lighting system, your Black Magic hardware, and all that shit. So home automation, some shit. <laughs> Your garage door will open up if you hit a button. Yes, dude, I'm pretty sure Home Assistance is built into them. Um, a couple of them are. Bit focus. Oh, if you could hook it up to like a like a IP connected stove, you could have a muffin button. <laughs> a lot of PTZ. Um, connections. That's what I was looking for. We're all looking for connection. <laughs> Your AJA Kona stuff. Axis, Barco, I don't even know what that is. Behringer stuff, Bird Dog, Black Box, Black Magic Design. Yeah, all the Black Magic stuff. Clear Touch. What's some like smart home stuff? Denon? Home receivers? Yeah, all right. Whatever next run. Epson? Yep. Yes. Elgato. Yeah. Uh, projectors. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. This also works with like the Elgato like, key lights and shit like that. Uh, Google Grace Sheets. Valley. Whoa. <laughs> home Assistant server. I guess it's just called Home Assistant. Mm. Not found. Oh, I guess not. Um. <laughs> Kramer. Multiple Kramers. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> Light wave. Lumens, Magewell, naturally. Middleman software, man. Motu. Motu. Yep. <laughs> the AVB stuff. Uh, New Tech, all the TriCaster stuff. It works with uh, Nova Star. OBS, hey, yay. That's what we use it for. <laughs> um, that came pretty late. I'm looking at the minimum version required. Panasonic's, OBS was version oh, 2. Yep. Everything Philips else Hubel. is like 0, 1, 0, 1. <laughs> Roland for your sound sense. Recording. Gotta get that meeting. Sure. <laughs> Spotify. Yeah. I d oh, yeah. I guess there was that one piece of Spotify hardware. I take that. Yeah. Tech Ministry. Fuck. That, I want something from Tech <laughs> Ministry. Pass scam. TA scam. <laughs> the Spotify controller. There you go. <laughs> the address. TP link. Oh, yeah. You control your uh, TP bombs. link stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twitch. Smart plugs. All right. Ubiquity. All right. VLC. U Utah Scientific. VLC. Mm. Vimeo. Vizio. Ooh. Visum. Vista. Yamiha. And Zoom. And Google YouTube. Oh, yeah. You can control your YouTube with it. YouTube Live. Right. Yeah. So you can set up an entire connection. So, yeah, it's, it's a little more. 
heavy weight, then I'm... Put some button pictures <laughs> and switch to them. Not much, but a little bit. No, 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 Sibian. Sibian. No, um, <laughs> oh, 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 me bod. You need buttplug.io for that, for like the remote control but vibrators. Plug .io. Yeah. I, st I still love that their documentation is pages. How do I put buttplug.in? Mm. That's. <laughs> Someone right. realized, yep, this is what I'm doing, so I'm going to have fun with it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the beauty of open source software, is that you can <laughs> cater to markets that mass market otherwise doesn't, just kind of ignores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like horny people. There's a lot of horny people. <laughs> I see horny people, and I'm one of them. Judging by the population, yes. Mm. Still growing. <laughs> so, I guess the so I guess the order is what? Pedro, Ven, then me, if we're going to order? Yep. Alright. Record. Record. Pause or... And finally, Megazord. Pull up that wiki page, Pedro. PowerRangersWiki.com. <laughs> no. <laughs> I Go down to pull the rabbit myself hole. Away during... <laughs> I managed to pull myself away. That's good. <laughs> All because um, Scott called you Jordan. <laughs> it's like, Jordan. okay, let's look up Zordon. <laughs> I need five Linux users with attitude. <laughs> And he's still looking to this day. Uh, yeah. In three, two. Welcome back. It's time for the Chairquisition. What is that? It's the part of the show where we take a game, install it on two decks, uh, some random computers, and then we synthesize that into a highly, you know, you know, orig original scoring system. One chair means that it's garbage. Four chairs means that it's amazing. This week, we're taking a look at Scrappage, developed by Geek Spree, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about five bucks. What is it? In this unforgiving roguelike twin-stick shooter, death awaits you behind every corner. Fight your way through hordes of monsters, eliminate bosses, and loot their valuable items and body parts. With them, you can enhance your own body, unlock powerful skills, and create your own unique builds. Gotta thank Geek Spree for sending us some keys over Curator Connect. So, let's let's get into it, Pedro. You, okay, you uh, so a little, <laughs> a little preface. Apparently, my uh, experience does not represent uh, <laughs> the general... Um way that the game seems to be working for both Ven and Jordan included because I didn't run into the bugs that they will be telling you about but hey over here on the desktop with the 6700 XT and the 5800 X3D watch that out of the box uh it uh, when I got into the game it was uh the little counter on the bottom left was saying that I was hitting a thousand fps so that that's something uh, <laughs> on the Steam Deck. It also works just fine. And I always have that uh, by default. It's capped at 40, but I sometimes unlock for games that run really well. I unlock it to 60 and it works just fine as well. I'm on the beta branch on the Steam Deck. Um, the menu traversal with the D-pad had similar issues to Rush Away from last week, but the left and right trigger seemed to be properly mapped. So I don't think this was intentional. This is just a cock up. Uh, the, um, I ended up playing with the mouse and keyboard instead because it's much easier. Uh, you can rebind all the keys, including on the controller, including setting the same button to fire both weapons at once. It feels weird, you know, 2023 current year argument. That's something which for accessibility, it makes so much sense and it's still so rare to this, these days. So many games just flat out refuse to let you overlap keybinds like that, probably for a very good reason, but that's a genuinely good thing to have. Uh, and the, well, the graphics, uh, they, if you're looking at the video version, you're looking at them now, it's, they scream, hello, I'm from the asset store. <laughs> and uh, the background music, the background music kind of threw me off because I started listening to it. It's like, wow, you could take the background music and just listen to it and go, oh yeah, this is from cyberpunk. No, no, it isn't, <laughs> but it sounds exactly like it. Uh, yeah, it, it, it doesn't seem to fit except for those levels where like, you're killing robots like the ones you just saw. But yeah, it is uh, for the fun. Well, it starts real frustrating. 
Your character is slow. The one weapon you have is the fire rate of a 40 millimeter a single barrel anti-aerial gun and the projectile manages to move even slower than you'd expect. It's basically impossible until you unlock the random weapon upgrade at the start and the game takes pity on you. Pity in Scrappage has the form of a uh, <laughs> stop sign uh, turned into a shield. Uh, why is it a pity? Uh, because it gives you plus 10 regen. Yeah. Then you can progress. <laughs> then you actually stand a chance. Uh, I've made it to the 8th or ninth level until they sandwich you in between superior fights and elite fights and whatnot. I'll be honest, the shooting doesn't feel very good. Your character being as slow as they are at the start is terrible. The fire rate of the starting gun is god-awful. And some enemies are just straight-up bullshit. But I like it. D Maybe it's the Souls-like enjoyer in me trying to find the proverbial hump to get over and finally get good. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Three chairs. I'm working on it. Three chairs. Ah. <laughs> over here on Debian Testing, on a 1920X 3060 power box of business, you know, it has everything you need to run out of the box. It's got window, it's got full screen, it's got graphic and volume sliders, it's got rebindable controls, a message from the developer to please don't... Uh, be mean to him in the options menu and also join his discord if you want to report bugs message yeah 60 at 2160p that's consumer 4k on the 3060 it's really all you need to know you're going to limit that it can handle it it can deal with the business but as you might notice if you're watching the video you're in for another riveting episode of live die top down shooter because that's the game again we're reviewing if you've been looking at vampire survivors and thinking hey man if you could suck all the joy out of that shit and uh, put in some annoying ass bugs where you might have something. Well, damn, here you go. Here you go. This is a roguelike top down shooter and it becomes bullet hell kind of out of left field. It does. It's like, oh shit, this is a bullet hell all of a sudden. So we're on like stage three and things just start flying at you. And, you know, I say that not even lovingly. I'm like, why? Why? I thought I just had like a zombie shooter thing. Then there's like no shooty, shooty, pew, pew. I did beat a boss. Um, then I was immediately just like one shotted by another, and I purchased a gun that like three shot at that boss. <laughs> and did I mention like the five levels that I completed without even playing them? No, that's a true story. You just pop in the levels and it's like, boom, thank you for completing it. Done. Now, if that bug could be mixed in with one that had given me like a bazillion bits of currency so I could buy a bunch of shit, I wouldn't have mind, but it didn't. So I was just kind of stuck back in the, you know, new level now, harder level with the, the same old shit. Oh, did I killed a boss one time because he got a case of the stocks. That was kind of neat. He got wedged on a rock. I'm like, oh, I'll just sit here and kill you. The game does get a little bit easier, though, um, when you're reminded about the leveling system, when you're digging around the menu trying to figure out how to activate the drones. You're like, oh, right, I can upgrade, like, my power and strength and running and all that, which, that's the thing. And the scrappage. Um, I gotta say this. Last week, I thought I was being a little rough on a game for having a bad menuing system. Scrappage is the second game this year in the contention for the 2023. What the absolute fuck were you thinking when designing those menus? Award here to LGC. Because, like, they're just bad. I don't care. They're bad with the controller. They're bad with the mouse. They're just bad. That's just all the way around them. But at the end of the day, what do we have? This is your typical developer's first game that shouldn't be on Steam. Take 1713. We've seen this game. This is the game you start out with. This is the one you're your, your first salvo, your out of the gate thing. This game's been made a million times and this one doesn't do anything new. But instead of pooping on it, here's a little bit of advice. You can't put this critter back into early access. So embrace the jank you got going on. Embrace the bugs and the craziness. Refine your skills and I want you to focus on adding some online multiplayer to this so we can spread the jank together. We can get the bugs in stereo, and have a good time like that. But yeah, I mean, technically it's a functioning game. I'll give you two chairs, but like that's being extraordinarily generous, even at four ninety nine, because like you're experimenting on paying customers. Yeah, I'm going to be way less generous than then. On uh, Fedora 3764-bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, it launches out of the box. Same on the deck on the stable branch. Hold 60 at UHD on both. Uh, well, I guess the deck doesn't do UHD, but native resolution, whatever. Uh, the controls are sanely mapped. It's a pretty standard twin stick shooter. 
Um, it, you know what? I'll, I'll give this game some credit. It actually has some graphical options. It has like an actually fleshed out options menu where you can do things like enable the vampire survivors mode if you want to make this a single stick shooter or uh, you want to support touch controls, which apparently this also has. Um, yeah, this game is buggy as fuck. Twice my movement got shut off, and one of those times the boss glitched out and I couldn't hit them, but for some reason I was still getting infinite lifesteal and I just couldn't die. I'll talk a little bit about more of that later. Um, but fun-wise, shmups, not usually my jam, but I can, I can respect a well-made one and well-designed and executed one, Assault Android Cactus, etc. This one, it was just okay. Uh, you got your standard roguelike level progression where you can split off and decide what kind of stores and fights you want to get into. Uh, kill enough enemies, uh, you can start upgrading your starting layout or you can upgrade your current run. Um, and you got you got to unlock those upgrades, especially uh, especially because that's where all the, the busted shit is. I got one power up that just like murder fuck bosses within like two seconds. It was like one of the anti area crowd control things. But if you just go up to a boss and hit it, they just die. So that was fun. Um, and that and like any curve that relies on um, the, the sort of busted ass shit that lets you cruise through the difficulty levels. Um, or to sort of flatten its difficulty curve, it's pretty feast or famine. You either get some busted ass shit right away, lets you cruise through, or you're just scraping by. That enemy eye, it's not really challenging. They all just beeline towards you. There's a slight, twi slight twist in that someone played Doom 3 and got used to the idea that, oh, we'll just spawn some enemies behind you so that you're constantly surrounded. That trick gets old real quick, and you once you get into fights, you're just like, I'm going to turn around, because, oh, there they are. They're the enemies that came from the area that I just cleared out, and if you go back there, all the enemies are still dead. So, mm. oh, yeah. And, yeah, Ven, Ven brought this up. This game has a bug where you'll just randomly win a map directly after starting it, and it happened to me three times in a row. Uh, and then after that, it was only once or twice after starting a run, and, you know, uh, it... it as I mentioned, if you're not doing the upgrades, you're kind of shit out of luck once you get into the actual level proper and you just get completely, uh, completely just murder fucked. Um, I also had an instant loss bug as well, which I didn't mention in the notes, but the level started, I hit the start button and it said, you lose too fucking bad. Um, and you know, difficulty, this guy scales, uh, by becoming a bullet hell. Uh, and if you don't have the good luck to deal with it, as I mentioned, you're just shit out of luck. So. It's not a bad mechanic. You got stuff like Hades that implements something similar, but that also has like solid gameplay, which this doesn't have. It's kind of a brainless log, and like you're playing you're playing loot roulette until you get the busted shit. And other than that, you're just uh, you're just live die repeat. It's a bad Tom Cruise movie. I'm gonna give it one share. It would have gotten two, but just all the bugs, man. It's not not acceptable. <laughs> I, I did not. I usually am the one who. Runs into the bugs, but not this time. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like this. I was kind of curious about like how much you didn't dislike the game, Pedro, because you're usually the first to like complain about like the having a little like knockback and impact when you're shooting at things, other than just like pew pew pew, arm stuck out. Pew pew. I, pew. I specifically mentioned that. Yes, that is very disappointing. But something about how hard the game starts you out and it's completely merciless because yes you you won't be making progress beyond the first or the second combat uh, until you unlock the ability to have a better gun at the start but it felt good when i did that and i started to enjoy what the game did in fact offer yeah so i watched I, I, this i, I, I looked I, I, at I what had... i played and i watched you know again pedro i'm like See, I can watch Vampire Survivors and watch like that shit get unhinged and like start getting chaotic. And I'm like, I get that. This, I'm like, there's just like a bunch of extra steps. This is a lot. different experience. Yes, the, the the comparison will be made, obviously. But yeah, in this the game itself, not... where it says Vampire Survivors in the game, yeah, the, yeah. the, the Vampire <laughs> yeah. Survivors the mode, aiming, it's explicitly uh, called that. Yeah, but uh, in Vampire Survivors, it also automatically shoots. In this one, even if it aims automatically at the closest enemy, you still have to press the shoot button. So you want to hold down both of your trigger buttons at the same time. <laughs> That's the what? thing. You can, I also mentioned that, you can bind, say, the left trigger button that I can actually reach uh, to shoot both guns from both hands at the same time. I don't think he did. It was a yes or no question, but. <laughs> so I, I, I had a similar experience to Pedro, right? Like once you start unlocking the upgrades and it's like, okay, well, this is actually manageable. But yeah, like the, again, just, just the bugs, right? Like, mm -hmm. okay, I start to have fun and then shit just breaks. 
and then I didn't run into that, so maybe yeah. that's why I ended up enjoying it more. <laughs> and, and, and you know, maybe, maybe I did. I, this has uh, couch co-op. I didn't get a chance to test that out. Maybe that saves it. Maybe maybe online multiplayer would save it as well. I don't know. You know what this game really needs? I think a fucking mini map. I got there, especially mm. given how how slow you move, and like it, it does the thing where like you can beeline it straight to the boss and fight him, or you can like scrounge and like try to get all the power ups and shit. But then you got to remember where all the things are, and it's real annoying because all you move so slow, you're like, nah, 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 nah. and if you take the wrong if you take the wrong left, then you know you're 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 chugging back and forth. Just know, knowing where you are would be nice. It's like well, that's the boss the first time. I, I knew there was like eighty plus percent chance that it was just going to get wedged in a corner anyway, and I was going to be able yeah. to take it out. For sure. No, oh, yeah. it's a game. Uh, it exists. It's four ninety nine. Yeah. Yes. The, the the price also helps. It's not trying to you know <laughs> price itself Hollow Knight like and not deliver on the Hollow Knight experience. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for small miracles. Coming up next, uh, we try not to cla- crash into planets, and we talk about our oldest hardware. So old. Oh, no. <laughs> old man voice. That's what we need to do. We need to remake the uh, Static X. Old, we're so old. <laughs> Instead of cold. Old. Old, we're so old. We are. Yeah. Mm. I was into the single digits. That's why. Right. Scrappage. Crappage, more like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Monitors do not, in fact, run at 50 hertz. Uh, not anymore. The um, LCDs, they run at 60 or the traditional refresh rates nowadays, 75 um 120 some some of them do 100 like the asus predator the um uh, 34 inch 3440 by 1440 well, that one is 100 hertz for some reason <laughs> let's go oh i'm sure you can get uh, <laughs> some specific use case ones <laughs> i mean this is cutting edge man look at this shit oh that that's a netbook display 1024 by 600 does this thing handles b and c baby and yep. R- rgbs and well probably not rgbs probably on R- 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 Y. <laughs> yellow <laughs> hdmi vga composite video yeah just mm. rca video let's go <laughs> hell yeah dude 30 bucks page how big is it uh 10 inch 10 inch all right it's a, it's a netbook display. It, it's literally one of the old netbook displays. <laughs> like, on, honestly, like, the amount of times you just kind of need a spare monitor to hook something up to, just so you can, like, get into the BIOS or something, like, that'd be handy as shit. For 30 bucks, I mean, yeah. with free shipping. You know what? I wouldn't be against having that <laughs> just, like, laying around just in fucking, because it's got VGA on it. It's the main reason I'm looking at it. I'm like, shit, all right. Yep. VGA, HDMI, composite. Uh, composite would have uh, been handy when I was doing the VCA, uh, VC, yeah. uh, or VCR <laughs> experiment yeah. instead of lugging that goddamn um, <laughs> right CRT. Get, get, a, get, a, get an active RCA to HDMI converter. <sighs> I already had to get a va- dude. I fortunately I found uh, I had a converter that converted the um, RCA to uh, coaxial. Mm, right. That's what that box was. <laughs> Cause that TV was cheap as fuck, man. Oh man, I, I yeah, the, the the old like dangly box you had to stick on the back of your TV that like mm-hmm. went from coax to to the composite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this was like an active converter. I would bought it because I mean it had coaxial on the back of the TV, but it didn't have RCA inputs. And the VCR, it was a box made to do that. <laughs> I mean, Sith Owl, yeah, absolutely. If you're running in that limited a hardware that you can hit 50 but can't hit 60 reliably absolutely play the uh <laughs> the eu ro- uh not eu well yeah some of the eu roms will do it too <laughs> here's something that'll hurt your brain though this is what we grew up with mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> and the music the music <laughs> 
completely different take on Sonic, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's 1101. I need to do a bio break. Uh, does anybody need to get up and go do anything? Yeah, I'm on. I just need to take it. the hood off. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Pedro's. Uh, talk about Hertz and Megs. <laughs> yeah, feel free to type down. I'll, I'll be back with you in a second. <laughs> I remember watching, it was either that video or one very similar to it where um, someone was going back and forth between the two versions. And yeah, it's... <laughs> I, I I never heard the NTSC version of the Sonic music. But here we are. <laughs> it is significantly faster. 60 hertz, man. <laughs> it really hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what hurts? Is when uh, you're watching people at work with the lights on blinking at uh, 50 hertz and the camera is uh, refreshing at 60. You get the rolling shutter effect. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. How do I explain this to a person who knows... Uh, how to turn on a computer, and that's the limit of their IT knowledge. <laughs> group policy, I guess. You gotta group policy some webcam settings. Yeah, it's just uh, if Logitech webcam 50 hertz. <laughs> I'm sure it's like crammed in a registry somewhere. You could, you could update that. Probably. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, y'all should go to vote.linuxgamecast.com and vote on some fucking show titles. Didn't do that this week. What do we got? Usually the best way to deal with people who have that going on is to just tell the person, turn the light off. <laughs> just turn the light off. <laughs> there, done. No more. <laughs> well, we only got one, two, three, four... Yeah, we, we we got four real real uh, real suggestions at uh, vote.linuxgamecast.com. Uh, so go vote on them. You can get, vote on Go the Door, Rewind, Were You Kind, Three Beard, the third one, and the Twitch that we know and loathe. I think Go to the Door is probably gonna win just because it's the shortest one. That's the selectin SEO some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Go, to, you know, if you if you want to change it or you want to suggest some stuff, bang suggest, bang us or go to vote.linuxgamecast.com. Anything that we said during the show is uh, valid, so just uh, suggested. <laughs> oh, heal elks. Heal heal elks. What? <laughs> heal elks. <laughs> I elk, you elk, he elk, she elks, they elk. I don't think we mentioned that during the show, Strider. But we can talk about your mom. <laughs> I'm gonna take your mom out to a nice seafood dinner and never call her back. <laughs> I will ghost your mom. <laughs> I like how I still have this fucking dog bed here. I keep forgetting that it's there. The dog doesn't use it. The dog just sits on the couch. You have cables on the dog bed. That's probably why she doesn't use it. No, the the, the reason there are cables are on the dog bed is because explicitly she doesn't use it. <laughs> oh, so it's a self fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> a, 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 a little bit, yeah. Well, so my 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 dog. She does this thing now where she just like sits on couches, and when you give her treats, she will bring it to the couch and then sit on the couch and just snack on it. She knows what's up. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, so I'm going to sit my ass comfortably on the couch and eat my treat. <laughs> right, so, so like, 
this is this is what I'm dealing with. The the there's like one piece of designated like dog furniture she uses, and that's only if we kick her off of the bed because she has nowhere else to sleep. <laughs> dog ownership, man. That's a that's an adventure. Do you like asking people what's in their mouth about 17 times a day? Dog ownership might be for you. <laughs> what's that in your mouth? <laughs> what's in your mouth? Uh, you wanted to suggestively bang your mom? That's weird. <laughs> Welcome back to Linux Oedipus Cast. <laughs> Oh, he didn't actually want to. He didn't. He, he didn't want to. He didn't know. He didn't, yeah, he didn't know that it was his mom, right? Like so. It's like, like uh, because of the prophecy, Dad kind of shooed him away. He was supposed to be killed, but the person who was going to kill him couldn't do it. Yeah. So he got shooed away to another country, and then came back, got into an altercation with his dad, uh, with the um, the chariots uh, over who had right of way. And um, right of way, what, what what is this making a left turn or trying to have sex with your mom, man? <laughs> no, that happened afterwards because you know after killing his dad, <laughs> he ended up um, yeah <laughs> betting his own mom. <laughs> what are we talking about, he man? <laughs> yeah, pretty much close enough. <laughs> Gray skull was a metaphor. <laughs> Gray skull is a metaphor for your mom's. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. That's that, that's that's why they call it gray. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm. You ever just have um? What was that? That would have been like Tuesday. Uh, one of the uh, tablets I had. It was like a Lenovo tablet. I've had, it's pretty old. It's a couple of years old. Like I never plug it into charge. Like it might get a charge every three or four months because it just sits idle. Like every now and then I'll cut it on to check something. You know, if like it's just random tablet around the house. It was dead as fuck the other day, and I just charged it. Ah, first is the battery thought, gone. <laughs> first thought, right? I'm like, oh shit. Uh, no, no. Apparently, at some point. Uh, I don't know if was it Twitch or YouTube. It was one of the video things. Just flipped the hell out and ate all the battery in like an hour and a half. Mm, okay. <laughs> Have you ever had that happen where you just like rapid discharge? I'm like, I guess something bogged down. And you know, you check the power graph and it just goes. <laughs> it's like, what was yep. using? Me? That was the first thing I was reminded of, and here's one for the audience. Um, what's the difference between regular vanilla and French vanilla? There's a difference? Well, you just can't haphazardly throw French in front of the word vanilla without a <laughs> difference, Pedro. I don't know. I mean, the fries seem to be uh, pretty... Abstracted well, the, the, from French, you can call them well, French the, fries or just fries. It's fine. Well, the, 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 the French refers to the style of cutting. They're julienne fries. And that's a, it's a French cut. The French vanilla? I, 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 I don't know. Maybe it's... Um, yeah, it's it, regular vanilla. Yeah, it's like, it's like a, the, diff the difference between like the, the, the fake and the real shit. I don't know. I don't know. The one on the Reddit gets you wrecked. Yeah. That that is highly alcoholic. <laughs> that, oh, okay, yeah, so French vanilla is a style or method of making ice cream and not necessarily related to the beans like the Tahitian or Madagascar vanillas. <laughs> okay. Same okay. Are you telling me that Julius Caesar, who has been dead for over seventy years, years personally made, a salad made this Mexico? salad? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You're not wrong about that, Dane, <laughs> but I still hate you. <laughs> I love it. Who's been dead for over 70 years? <laughs> Hashtag no R angry a vote. Yes, that's a yeah. yep. technically correct. Yep. Love and sandwiches. They're amazingly built. What? 
Uh, apparently, Ike's Love and Sandwiches. I imagine it's like a sandwich restaurant in California. Where you get to make love <laughs> to each other in the restaurant. Uh, it, it, sandwiches? It's, it's, I don't it's, know. It's, it's, listen, you asked what the secret sauce is. You, you want to know why it's so special. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's made with love. I mean, you're, you're dealing with like a six-time pro champ Googler, so you better be careful here. <laughs> is Googling an eSport? <laughs> you know what? It should be. I think, I think like... I, th I think if they, if they have like Excel as an eSport, they should have Google as an eSport. Dude, I Precisely. would <laughs> I would throw down in that, man. As long as they had like a seniors league. Yeah, like a, like a master's division for, for the arthritic people. So this is Ike. That's his love and sandwiches. Okay. Look like some decent. Oh, sandwiches. Uh, clearly Ike's gonna love you. Look at that. Ike. Ike is <laughs> Ike's is open never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always closed. I guess, yeah. I'm assuming uh, Steve works in the toy district next to Skid Row. Uh, is, is it delivery only? Is that yeah. is that the thing? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to remember if I. I'm trying to see if I remember any landmarks because I've stared at the Google Maps around Steve's house long enough trying to figure out where the fuck he lives. Menage a trois. The Madison Bum oh. Gardener. <laughs> Paul Rubens. Bum Gardner. Okay. All right. Ah. <laughs> ah. Beast mode. Activate. Um, the backstabber. backstabber. Mm -hmm. It's a Caesar, <laughs> Caesar sandwich. Berry buns. Meatless Mike. Da Vinci. Oh, no. I see. I see now. where the love is now. Okay. It's just sex jokes all the way down, right? Time uh, traveler's uh, wife. Pee Wee. Pee -wee. My Angelou. The kids menu. Chester the Chief. Man, get the fuck out of here with that, whatever that is. How much is that grilled cheese sandwich? I don't know. Oh, oh. Oh. Is it like a is it like a ten dollar grilled cheese? Probably. <laughs> How much? Let me see. Uh let's just say let's just start with this. Yeah, if you if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Right. <laughs> no locations close to you. <laughs> Arizona, California, Colorado, Nevada, Texas, and Utah. With a dirty sauce. Mm -mm. Jill's having a Super Mario. El, El Sangando. All right. How much are they? They don't have pricing information unless I give them like my location, which I don't do. <laughs> We've been over that, Google. Big sandwich ain't gonna find you. That's right. First 50, wait, what? <laughs> Grand opening events, first 50 get a free sandwich. 797 sandwiches all day. Can meet Ike. No price, just ransom. I'm sure that's a funny haha -ha joke. I just tried to find out how much these fucking sandwiches cost, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and be like 15 bucks a sandwich. I'm, I'm like reading that. It's like seven ninety seven sandwiches all day. So I'm okay. guessing at some point That's, there's yeah. a fifteen fifteen dollars Canadian. Yeah, yeah. Probably like that, that, ten bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's the regular price. Yeah, that that, that 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 that's my trick. Is when I'm wrong, I'm just like, oh, Canadian money. Well, yeah. I'm in that most dollars. Oh, huh. Yeah. Thirteen to fifteen. All right. Yeah. No. The, the, them's some uh, five guys pricing there. <laughs> I mean, a sandwich, fucking alley sandwich. Yeah, that's a, twenty bucks. That's about. I, I, I don't think that would cause me to blink at all. I'm like, all right. Plus, yeah. plus, plus you're not allowed to walk into the store. You got to go through the drive-through. So it's the cost of gas to get there. <laughs> mm. But what if I want to meet Ike? <laughs> you can meet him through your car window, I guess. Mm. <laughs> I don't do the wax paper co. I go to Wax Street. Is that a pickle? Pickle surprise. Fucking maybe. You want to find out? <laughs> I'm just looking. Wax paper. Wax paper. Pickle. <laughs> Terracotta pie. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, even if it's not pickled, that's definitely a cornichon. Now I want to do a terracotta pie, but that shit's just going to have like straight up fucking terracotta on the inside of it. I want to dare somebody to get mad at me when they chip a tooth. <laughs> Frogtown 2902, Knox Avenue, Los Angeles. I don't know. Strader lives out of food trucks. The food truck game in Toronto is fucking terrible. We get really? like, there's like, yeah, there's like a couple of them, and they're all, most of the ones I've been to kind of suck. Like even downtown. Yeah, when I well, I was working midtown. I downtown, it's mo like there's no room for food trucks, right? Like there's like it's like most of the downtown core is like two lane streets. In the Blue so, Moose like, dis District, yeah. The Moose District. Blue Moose. Blue Moose. It's like they're practically forcing you. You don't have a say in it. The, well, of course yeah. they flock to you. They gotta bl you gotta blow those moose. Blow the meese. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a food truck here that parks near the school uh, up in Cherry Hinton. It's good. <laughs> the first two times that I just walked by, it's like... Mmm, that smells nice. <laughs> and I the, grabbed uh, one of the shawarmas that they make. Those are good. Those are really one, good. <laughs> the one negative about living right here is that there are no food places nearby. No. Yeah. Welcome so to I, the burbs, baby. Yeah, yeah, sub, <laughs> suburb, suburb life. I get good at cooking. That's, that's kind of... But you do get excited when you hear the ice cream truck every now and then. I know I do. <laughs> Because mine sounds yeah. evil as fuck. Because <laughs> whatever power is driving that thing, it's like. Well, see, the, the problem is, I always catch the ice cream truck while I'm walking the dog, and I'm like, man, I do not trust her around the fucking ice cream truck. Mm. <laughs> step on the leash, just you know, get her to lay down. Step on the leash, there you stay. <laughs> oh no, she gets like, if she wants, she can slip it. That's the problem. <laughs> She, she's, got, she's got, like, weird anthropometry where, like, she's very narrow at the top and very wide at the bottom. What, you don't have, like, an actual, like, chest on his leash? I, no, we do. But, like, she, like, I, I have I have personally seen her slip through one of those before. <laughs> That's Does, a skill. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's not a puppy anymore, so I'm not sure if she can do that because she's, like, not as flexible now, but still. I don't know, I'm one of those people who's, like, super paranoid when they're walking their dogs. Alright, let's get super paranoid and, uh... Alright, hold on, I gotta smoke more weed then. Alright. <laughs> the government's out to get me, man! They're in my shoes! You wanna go to Taco Bell? Oh, yeah, that's where man. the smell comes from. Okay. <laughs> hey, man, there's, there's, like, certain, like, restaurants that achieve uh like altered states after like two o'clock in the morning right and like you know taco bell white castle uh crystals denny's yeah like yeah there, there, there there's this one restaurant um I, f I forget where it is but like in there in like the back area it's fenced off and inside is like a mural someone did of like god emperor of dune and the guy just like goes back there and like he'll, you you'll invite people to it it's like his happy place Oh, uh, that's what I got reminded of. Because Strider's bringing up Dune. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last part of the night. I bring this in for a nice, smooth landing in the ocean. Hate mail segment. In three, two. Not entirely sure that's what you'd call a smooth podcast 747 but coming out of the sky <laughs> hopefully we can pull a uh, Sully O'Sullivan and uh, just yeah land this in the middle of the river why not <laughs> but chances are during chances this chances are uh, what during uh, this how dare you imply I'm a betting man uh... <laughs> load up I know that I, I, I am a little bit susceptible to uh, the gambling thing that's why I Try to stay away from that stuff as much as possible. Let me call you Pedro Lootbox Mateus. 
Oh, dude. Yeah, I, that's why I, I don't I, do I, it. I, I got hit by that hard. I got 100% have an addictive personality. I got to stay the fuck away from that shit. Really? See, I I think I got that, but my aversion to spending money overrides that like instantaneously. Yeah, Even that, that's Vegas, the, dude. the thing I, I, that stops I, I, me because I look at the prices like, yeah, mm, no. <laughs> that, yeah, the, and, and that, that is the reason why. If I did not have that block in place, oh mm-hmm. man, I would be poor as shit, man. But maybe uh, you uh, don't have that block in place when it comes to um, listening to podcasts on the internet and you have opinions. About I watch this my podcast one. on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, or watching them m- on YouTube. M- We're m- on YouTube, people technically. Do. But you, if you have something to say, YouTube comments are valid, but the best way to do it is to go to linuxgamecast.com, hit the contact button, uh, get your $5 milkshake, and read the caveats at the top. That's, that's just what, what they cost like. now. That's just what they cost now. That's, they're not, that $5 isn't even a fancy milkshake. That is just. No, that's cost. just the McDonald's milkshake. Yeah, it's five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be Googling. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to find out exactly uh how many dollars milkshakes are nowadays uh, we, we need we need like a special gra- graphic where it's like mcdonald's price check mango pineapple smoothie which is no orange mocha frappuccino is uh ah, 349. <laughs> the large is still under three dollars that's that's pretty good for the chocolate shakes all right <laughs> four more rows <laughs> oh we, we have like an index oh, hold, hold, hold up right. when, hold up when is this from oh what, Tuesday? 2016? 2016? Yeah! Ooh, that, no. Nick Menu. <laughs> yeah. Okay, chocolate shake prices. Here we go. This is going to be updated. Yeah, uh, max price, 419 That Yeah. But, in Massachusetts. Massachusetts? Massachusetts. <laughs> Massachusetts. It says 389 in Cali. Um, Idaho is 339 Okay, so yeah, that's that's four four dollar five dollar milkshake. Like that's that's still way more than a milkshake norm used to cost. Well, I think yeah, the yeah, whole $2 thing was the, like, the, <laughs> the <laughs> concept of a five dollar milkshake when a milkshake was like maybe a buck for an extra yeah, large. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and 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 now yeah, it's pretty close. You had every right just to want to know what it tasted like, what the flavor was. Put some so bourbon th- in it. Yeah. Last week, <laughs> last week I brought up a game. Fly Dangerous, and I hadn't had an update in a while, and it was the uh, racing part of the, um, what was the game? Elite uh, Dangerous. Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous, thank you. <laughs> uh, with all, you know, all that boring stuff sucked out of it, and only the gamey racy part, and I'm like, this is gotta need, it needs some explanations, and uh, you know what, I have some questions. Turns out, uh, Juki Boom wrote yeah, in. Juki Boom? Uh- yeah, uh, Yuki Bomb, Boom, Yuki Boom, she hit us up and she's like, if you're the developer, she's quoting us, if you're the developer of Fly Dangerous, we got lots of questions for you. Solid, hit me up. Thanks for covering it. I, I guess we will, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I got a bunch of questions. Also, um, I don't know, we'll work something out. I'll get you back up. I was like, left his YouTube comment I've been meaning to get back to. It. It's always like, this just goes out to everybody. Please use our contact form so I don't forget these things. Um... Please, yeah, we, and, your email address is already there because you had to type it in, so it's easier. <laughs> um, it just stays there. Like, I will fucking forget YouTube comments in a heartbeat, man. I know. Uh, however, are, I, I've made a special note of this. Um, yeah, especially like when you're getting closer to like maybe the next release or something like that, we'd like to get you on the show and like talk mm-hmm. about like just whatever, right? Like, no, I, I, I got it. No, we're, we're going to be talking about uh, strictly uh, things happening in Indonesia. Okay. The gaming scene. Board gaming scene. Board games. Indonesia. Okay. I don't know play. enough about Indonesia to make a for, comment for one way or another. Play, play, playing some Dominion, <laughs> playing some Catan. I, I have no idea. Some, some Ticket to Ride Indonesian edition. Pan-Asian. I don't know. Uh, thanks for getting back to us. Yeah, seriously, we do have... Um, uh, I just got like questions about development of the game, especially uh, along things like tutorials and how that's going to flush out because uh, somebody like me I don't have a fuck all idea what I'm doing. I'm just like, hey, racing game. I want to play. It's got trophies. Hey, give me my trophies. And followed with, um, should I get hardware for this? Which I'm not. But it'd be like, <laughs> but it'd be nice to know that like right from the get go, right? Of like, don't don't get your hopes up, champ. I'm like, ah, okay. Up next, Simon, and uh, Simon's uh, is questioning how old our PCs actually are. What uh, does Simon asking, say? Uh, Yo. What's your oldest piece of hardware still in active in your gaming computer? No retro. Smiley face. Um, well, uh, 
we had some discussions about this before we started the show. Okay, when you say in active in your uh, gaming computer, Wait, Pedro, you you're supposed to, to say subscribe on Patreon to get the <laughs> conversation yeah, piece credit. Yeah, just, just, just scraping for those technicalities, aren't you? When you say in your computer, what do you mean by? Do you mean like partially in or like fully embedded yeah, or like, when you say alive what do you mean by that i mean yeah. like full pulse like uh do you do like independent <laughs> yeah. high up brain when you say the word like, when you, when you system, 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 what are yes. you referring to yeah, yeah like. <laughs> but yeah no inside the computer for my part is uh the cpu heatsink the um be quiet dark rock 4 uh that's uh four year yeah four years old now uh, everything else got replaced over the past three years, so yeah. <laughs> How about uh, you, outside Jordan? the computer? I, 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 th- <laughs> I, th- I think I'm the winner with my 13 year old power supply. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought my Kingston, uh, Kingston 249 gig SSD, I checked it, uh, drive status in the pre super shows in almost five years. Mm. But it seems like there was something else, wasn't there? That I. I Mm. Your, your, uh, your, 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 uh, the fiber optic <laughs> card uh, my Mellanox Connect X3 from NVIDIA is uh, from 2013 so 10 years old yeah. so I, I beat you up by like 2 years maybe I don't know uh, we, what's going to last longer <laughs> I don't know <laughs> who's got to blink first uh, that, that, that is a very valid question I mean I have I, I think both are both products are equally as dodgy because I'm dealing with like lasers and shit, mm. which does require optics. So, but you got capacitors, <laughs> big chunky capacitors too. <laughs> but it's retro, it's vintage, man. It's not like modular, none of that new fancy no, stuff. No, <laughs> I, I got I got a bunch of cables crammed in the back of the case. Yeah, dude, I saw a really nice uh, concept for power supply. Uh, was uh, what is that little bullshit? Uh, the little baby sleds uh, power supplies, the PEX. Uh, what are they called? The one I put in rectangle, like the little oh, long ones. Um, uh, I don't know. You call yourself technology enthusiast. <laughs> I don't deal with physical <laughs> hardware anymore, man. It's all the cloud. What is it called? Damn it. Flex uh, ATX. Uh, or yeah, the the flat ones like the server ones are Flex ATX. Is that tiny it? Tiny TX. Let me see. Uh, flex. Y- YTX. We get a look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy, because I was thinking about replacing him with one of these. Um, but it's too much. Uh, one of these little guys. But what it was, it was a regular size uh, power supply with two of those, two slots for those guys, mm, so you could stack right. in <laughs> two of them like. Damn, that's a good well, idea. So you could do redundancy, <laughs> or you could power them both at the same time. Yeah, have like and, one for the motherboard and one for like the yeah, video cards. And you can yeah. like really dial in how much power you need with options for two. You know, you could have like one for your motherboard and something like maybe just one for your GP or something like that. Then I looked at the price for the containers, like seven hundred bucks just for the ah, show. Yeah, <laughs> if you're they, going they, to they, have that kind they have of a control, good idea. <laughs> yeah. they have a good idea, and they're going to charge you for it, dude. Dicks. Um, so yeah, 13 year old PSU. What is your oldest component inside of your PC and inside? inside Patrick, goes, don't answer. Inside. Yes. Mir- 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 Mirror is disqualified from this competition. Right. <laughs> uh, it specifically says no retro. <laughs> yeah, no retro, no vintage. It's got to be what your uh, daily driver is day in and day out. And don't try to pretend I'm like, no, my daily driver is what's 400, 480s. No, the fuck it's not. Get the fuck out of yes. here. Don't waste my daily maybe, driver maybe if you're is my T43 inside a T42 thingpad. Uh, yeah. If, if, we, <laughs> if, we, if we get George Martin writing in, then I'll believe it. Oh, you see, <laughs> like, this is like, go, go listen, because we, we get pretty far on the weeds. Like, what, what counts? Like, this, what about attached to the, no, inside the case. Yeah. Inside the case, plugged in, and like, having power actively. Doesn't it count it. if it's plugged in or screwed into the outside of the case? It's going to be internal. It's going to be inside. Yeah. The, the, got, the internalness is the, guts, uh, the key here. The kishkas. <laughs> and no, it doesn't count if you like pick some old lesb shit and <laughs> shove inside. <laughs> yeah, no, if you just duct tape like a sound interface on the inside of your case now, and you have but, the cables but, running in there. <laughs> sure. But here's the thing. If you get it powered by the internal PSU, then it will count. Mm. <laughs> 
I mean, it's powered off of the USB, so I can power just running it off of an internal USB port. header. So, yeah, I mean, like, listen, I got wiggle room here. I don't know. <laughs> let, uh, let's, listen, just set your computer on fire and you win. <laughs> don't do that. You don't win. <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. You monster. Ladies and gentlemen, on that ancient, super old bombshell, we're going to cue the music. You can always find us pulling out of the nightmare train station. Woo, woo, as the whistle does go at 8.30 Eastern here at twitch.tv forward slash Linux Game Guys coming out with us live. Do that dance that we do. Scream in my direction on Twitter. Just at Vinstone. Scream in my direction on Mastodon. Mast.linuxgamecast.com. I'm just at Vin. Or uh, scream at me in our Discord IRC and all that shit's connected. Add Vin there. I'll find you. You'll find me. It'll be awesome. I'm Jordan. I'm your favorite fire hazard. You can find me on Twitter at Shock the Burning Fool or uh, Mastodon at uh, Mastodonlinuxgamecast.com. I'm at Frojo. And you can find me staring longingly at eBay looking for more old laptops for, re for me to waste my money on. <laughs> Uh, at an accounted four on Twitter, uh, or uh, at an accounted four with the actual number four on mass.linuxgamecast.com. Hashtag four dudes. Backwards, upside down, three T thing. I don't know. Whatever. C control, alt, MX, yeah, butterfly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Special op codes. Credits. Yeah. Alt, sysrec, re I sub. <laughs> tar, tar, ZXVF. <laughs> What? Yeah, XZVF. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we got to thank our advisors, Omegas, our theorem. We got to thank our executive producers coming up. They're Barbara M. Scott Michaud, Tom McCass, Mike G, drummer Kohaku Pebble, Tomash Hakim, and David. We got our Chicago Kicks Ass Tears. We got Super Dust Dote, Empty, and Eggy, and Jeremiah, Bullfrog. Yeah. <laughs> sea Monsters. Renault Rider X Machina Trudgy. Trudgy. Uh Trudgy. Okay, I read Trudgy twice, but System there T. we go. Veritanuda, Justin, Fro uh, Frostclaw, Nubbin, Darkwing, System T, Dunzing Joe, Ohiwan, and Kyrillo. Plenty of death notes. Uh, Doom 2, Smash Lee, Leonardo, Leonardo Dax in there, Fox is in there, Jalad, Alex. Renee, Leonardo the Kresny, Kim, Smash Lee, G, Chris, Stephen, Jill. There they are. Doom 2, Dot Wad, Stephen B, Dirty Bean, back. Game of Tron, Dodgers, Anthrus Gaming. We're I reading Chairlings now. real choppy now, I can't see. <laughs> Yeah, we got to thank Incredible Lyric, Ivandro, Igal, Dementor, <laughs> Zeno, Daniel, Belric, AJ, Minus Eggs. Nine, Monica, Alex, Mark. Tom, Sacred Egg, d -spec. Yeah, let's go. Biatko yeah, joined us for Shrek Media for the first time. That was pretty fun. Thanks. Yeah. And the guys on the wall, the names, in the lights. Humans. The humans. The humans. Humans. Dynafire, everybody. We'll see you next week. And remember, uh, stay away from those overpriced... Uh, Umox. Flex ATX power supplies. Goddamn. <laughs> don't keep don't keep eggs in your PC. They don't last. Or cook them on your uh, CPU. Scramble. Hey, yeah. Listen, <laughs> dude. I'm already CPU we're, steamed eggs. We we can have a uh, fried rice. We already got the uh, rice cooker and video yeah. card. We we and we got the valve air fryer. So bye bye. Mm -hmm. Your legacy peep, Steve. <laughs> yeah, you're a, you're a very stale marshmallow peep. What was it? The Pepsi uh, peeps? <laughs> Which uh, they didn't call it peepsy. Was <laughs> peepsy? Yeah, it was the uh, Pepsi marshmallow uh, special edition that they were making. It, it had a peep on the label. See, here's the problem with this. I saw like all the uh, different flavors. Of the peeps they were doing this year, and one of them was flaming hot. Ooh! <laughs> like, well, shit! I might nibble the head off one of those just to see what's going on. <laughs> flaming hot peeps. This is true. There you go. Pepsi. I might have just typed in flaming hot pee pee though. <laughs> <laughs> Same that's, search that's a very different Same Google search. search. <laughs> that's a medical search. Why? Um. <laughs> Uh, fierce peeps. Yeah, okay, the, the big uh, loss there cinnamon. is they didn't call it 
Peepsy. <laughs> no, no one's gonna want to drink pee pee Peepsy. <laughs> what the fuck does hell corn taste like? Uh, sweet popcorn. What about hammer Cheetos? <laughs> Uh, they taste hammer like Cheetos. blood. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they taste like blood and teeth. You know, traditional <laughs> hammer Cheetos. Uh, yeah, you, uh, hammer smashed face. It oh, tastes you like smash a cannibal corpse uh, the Cheetos and you mix it in with the peeps? Okay, all right. That, like, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess well played because that's exactly some shit I would do if I was making a guide for the internet. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I'm not above that. And how was it, Mir? <laughs> like sickeningly sweet or perfectly tolerable <laughs> so what are our thoughts on um okay uh, like peeps sound horrible what about ladies and gentlemen flaming hot pop tarts I try one mm. do they have cheese filling no <laughs> like, like cheese coating <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what about the mermaid fantasy frappuccino? That just uh, that just tastes like corn syrup, man. Uh, all right, goth ice cream. Yeah, uh, I'd try uh, that. It'd probably make my poop green like last time, but yeah. <laughs> oh, there was that entire day where Strider didn't believe that you could get pure white icing. That was cute. Um, <laughs> It's the most popular one. <laughs> he was he was just dropper tooling everything. I'm just like, you gotta dropper tool yourself, man. Are I'm you pure saying, enough? <laughs> Slumber party unicorn popcorn bowls? The fuck? What is this website? Cinderly.com? It's Yeah, it's like fucking the Colorful no. confections. No, no, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's play a game. Okay. How long do you think we're gonna have to scroll if we click on one of these to get to the actual recipe? I don't know. <laughs> it's it's under the category unicorn food. We're yeah. gonna find out. I clicked on it. How, how how many seconds of scrolling? I'm gonna go with ten. Order now. <laughs> what you need? Oh, oh shit! Okay. All right. All <laughs> that right. didn't take very much. Order really now. Add for the book. <laughs> Fair, fair enough. <laughs> All right. we're, we're not going to tell you how to do it, but these are the ingredients. Step, oh, there's the step by step. step. Yeah. Just, uh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's, they, they, they had the. My mother was a, a cake maker in New Hampshire when she was shot nine <laughs> times. I made this cake in remembrance of her. I was born on a small farm and um Yeah yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw one of those, but it was about making like traditional eggnog. And the first five minutes the dude was just telling the story about how he learned about eggnog. Not even the story of eggnog. That came after. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you uh <laughs> my my attention's been like Anything, any video I make is an absolute protest and disdain of those fucking videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I fucking, firmly fucking believe I can communicate it, most things five minutes in and out. See, I used to believe if I could communicate things very quickly, but then people started shouting, that's not enough information. <laughs> this is before we met him. <laughs> no, no, it, the people were you. <laughs> the people were you. Yeah. Oh, when you, you were leaving Jordan's shit like, out? That's yeah. not enough information. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you leave shit out, that's not. You, you gotta be a little more precise. You gotta laser guide that information to, like, cover, like, like the actual topics. Like, like, it, it, or if here, I'm here, giving here. you a URL, I expect you to read it, and no, apparently that's too like, much expectation. <laughs> I, I, I... I. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Drug, drugs are great, kids. <laughs> I don't That's know. Okay. Oh, We're I, all getting oh, old, I, Jordan. <laughs> I do remember now. I was going to say, the, the, the thing with communicating is that it always makes sense perfectly in your head. Because you have all the incidental pits of information. You got to make sure that you give people enough to, to sort of have a step on. Um, well, 
I mean, you got to do a good job to like, let's say like last week when we were talking about the uh, Robocraft um, anniversary, Pedro said a lot about the Robocraft, but left out the entire part about the incentives for visiting the, you know, getting rewards and the Robocraft box and all the other stuff that would encourage people to go see it. I'm talking about stuff like that. No, it's just not necessarily bad, negative, but there's something to be said about like no, no, no call to action. Like, why would I care about the Robocraft thing at all? And like, well, here's the the event itself that we're throwing is worth a mention. You go what I'm okay, saying? no, that's fair. <laughs> so that's, that's that's what I'm supposed to do here. It's like steer, like, hey, by the way, Pedro, what, what, what's the cool thing about this? And Pedro's like, oh, the yeah, here's the cool uh, thing. Keeps popping back into my head as an example is uh, when uh, Neverwinter Nights, uh, the enhanced edition, was coming out, and Beam Dog was giving away keys for it. And it's like, yeah, they're giving away keys on their Discord, and I put the link to their Discord. It's like, so what am I supposed to do? Click on the fucking link and read it. <laughs> yeah people don't read Pedro <laughs> yeah <laughs> clearly uh, I, I, years spent writing technical documentation people don't fucking no people don't read and people also don't make assumptions usually well oh, I take people, that back no 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 people make assumptions all the fucking time yeah people make assumptions all the time <laughs> to their detriment people make some fucking mouth breathing troglodytes or 100% assumption mode all the time at a certain point, though, like everything is to some degree a matter of assumption, though. It's well, I mean, if you need to argue it's con- both it's sides to achieve neutrality, yeah, it's it's it's, it's controlling what, right? Like, yeah, if you're uh, coming into something where you know nearly nothing about, then you are going to make some assumptions based on bullshit. Off of your I walk into that situation, especially if I'm teaching somebody, trying to educate somebody, trying to throw some information to a little bit of a brain organ. I say, listen, I'm going to insult your fucking intelligence. Step one. Why? Because I'm not going to assume you fucking know anything. Why? Because that shit has bit me in the ass so many times <laughs> over my life and caused so much extra time and energy on both of our parts. Not just for me, as, but for you. As someone who does um, IT support, yes, I absolutely see where you're coming from, but people will get real stroppy if you're... Um, <laughs> Yeah, they get they get, they get defensive they and then they shut presume down. Presume that you're treating them like they're five years old. When which you, you absolutely start are the conversation <laughs> with, here's what's going to fucking happen. This is step one. Your first interaction with a person is establishing these rules and how you're going to handle this and your purpose and your methodology and what your thoughts are behind this, very fucking clearly and laying this out. This is not guesswork. This is stuff that I apply in meat space. People handle that a lot better than coming out at them with like guesswork and like treating down talking i'm like i'm not talking down to you at all but we gotta work together as a team from this point you're not now talking to them but you have a senior manager that's been in the job for 15 20 years and you come in and you're telling them it's like okay this is what's happening and they assume that you are talking down to them despite you not being so that's what that's that's what i have to deal with (laughs) So I just give out the core information, and if they ask for more, then I give them the rest. I my, my, my technique is usually I just ask them straight up, like, what is your level of exposure with X? And based on their response, I can calibrate a response accordingly. But that's that's a, that's the thing that I've built up over years. Like, I don't expect people to be able to like do it. it communication is like a, a muscle, and you need to you need to work on it. Communication and, is not universal. Yep. Period. Everybody's got their own way. And yep. um, I spend a lot of time thinking about communication and how it's done, the best way, most efficient way to do it. As somebody, you know, I've been a fucking Linux guy for 12 years on the internet. And that's something I take a lot of time in, like, sitting back and, like, reproducibility and how do you want to step through the problem? What is the problem? How to um, present the problem? What's going to be the most universally accepted or, I should say, approachable way of coming towards a guide? To get a uh, good outcome. That's what we're going for. It can be challenging. Uh, no, Seth Owl, that, that that example was from seven years ago when uh, I mean, it has join, join, came out. Hey, join their Discord and ask for a free key. You might get one. Who knows? I think I'm doing pretty good if you get to go back seven years. <laughs> that's just the example it's like okay the moment you click that link it told you exactly what to do and no one read <laughs> well people just don't click random discord links was the I think the data point from that though wasn't it would you would you better like here's a discord link what for what 
uh, for the free keys? No. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, free keys? All right, shit. That's all you had to say. <laughs> I did? <laughs> I don't, it's I'm, like the developer is giving away Seven keys. years ago, Pedro, I'm at a loss, buddy. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what fucking you could. It's like, then you turned into an airplane. I'm like, all right. <laughs> shit, sounds, sounds plausible. <laughs> So what are we what are we playing? What's 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 going on? Where what, what, what are we doing now? We're we're, we're we're like animorphs at this point. We're working instead Although, of animals. Uh, we're going to be airplanes. <laughs> Pl oh, okay. Well played, Seth Howell. Uh, though it is uh, over Winter Nights Enhanced Edition. It's pretty cheap. It's like um, five bucks. If you don't want the premium modules, it's yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. Quit making up words, Strider. <laughs> I mean, all game titles are made up words. All words are made up. Black and Slash. Oh, is that the game you were lands. playing that you took the screenshot of the T-Rex, Strider? I did see that. <laughs> so were dinosaurs warm blooded? I mean, they were pretty big. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I guess, I guess the, 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 it would also like it depend on the dinosaur theoretically as well. And just the average temperature of the planet at that time, if it would even be feasible. <laughs> Endothermic or exothermic? Assuming they're, you know, <laughs> from what people have been able to derive about their biology, probably exothermic. Yeah, I, I I would think like at a at a certain size, like finding ways to have the environment heat you is like a little infeasible. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, the um the real yeah, big no. ones <laughs> with and, the long and, necks and, 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 <laughs> that used to be called well, one thing and now they're called another. <laughs> not not all not all the dinosaurs had uh, had uh, feathers. It was only like specific types. I, again, I, go, going back to like dinosaur describes like a broad variety of of animal, right? A, a very big span, like uh, I don't remember. Although, 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 like maybe maybe there is some characteristic about like the class, because like the, the dinosaur refers to specifically like four four legged um, four legged like specific or limb orientation of like uh, of the reptile, right? There 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 are there are like Cretaceous and Jurassic creature like animals that we call colloquially colloquially dinosaurs, but are not like actually classified as dinosaurs. What are they classified as? Uh, other other types of animal. I just don't know. Off, I don't know them off the top of my head, but I do know that not, like not all of the prehistoric creatures like are the megafauna dinosaurs. in general. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think like yeah, the plant. I was like, nope, dinosaur. <laughs> no, but palm but, like, tree it, rex. <laughs> <laughs> it it it, do, it does refer to a specific set of physical characteristics that like there's like a lot of aquatic creatures that like aren't technically classified as dinosaurs because they don't match that anthropometry that kind of stuff. Um. Yeah. So like, um, what was the flipper boy? Snorky. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, the plesiosaur? Plesiosaur. Was that a dinosaur? Uh, let's look it up. Plesiosaur. A dinosaur. It is a... Marine reptiles, such as the theosaurs and plesiosaurs and monosaurs, are not dinosaurs, nor is Dimatron or other reptiles in the same group. Yeah, previously called Dimit Dimitron, mammal -like uh, reptiles. Yeah. Yeah, Demetrius has like the, the the limbs coming out of the sides as opposed to like going straight down, and that like disqualifies them as being dinosaurs. But this is a page one of Google. We can't believe anything on here. We got to go to where the real stuff is. <laughs> oh, it's on Infinite Scroll. That's adorable, Google. Oh my God! There's something called a Bobosaurus. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm just imagining a fucking clown ass dinosaur. It's the Bobosaurus <laughs> with a fucking red wig on. Some Ronald McDonald shit. Once about tree video. Fuck yeah, Bobosaurus. Bobosaur. 
Oh, I need pictures, goddammit. Oh, man. Dinosaur. Let, let's just fucking talk about dinosaurs for another two hours. <laughs> One and done. Fuck, dinosaurs. Yeah. Fuck, 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 play, fuck playing video games. Let's play Ark. Snorky <laughs> Toa. <laughs> so much gatekeeping in dinosaurology. Yeah. Pa- Jurassic yeah, Dino World Fight oh, One. Fuck. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Bloxors. Uh, yep. Summoning velociraptors. Oh, is that one of your uh, boomer shooters that you're playing now? The, that was Exoprimal. <laughs> I don't think that qualifies as a boomer shooter. Let's l- look at the uh, tags on uh, Steam. <laughs> it's mixed. Dinosaurs. Shooter. Capcom. 3D. Shooter, FPS, 3D, sci-fi, no, uh, no boomer shooter. Gameplay. Okay. <laughs> looks like, looks like Fortnite. Okay. Got Overwatch it. Overwatch 2, yeah. Understood. Overwatch, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the, uh, apply a tag you've used on other products. Okay. First tag, Linux. Cool. Uh, second tag, spreadsheet porn. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, he does bring up the positives. <laughs> Shooting dinosaurs is fun, but... <laughs> Battle pass, future microtransactions. Okay, a lot of people are not liking the, the monetization. Yeah, it, it sounds like Capcom, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's Capcom is going to be 69. <laughs> it's a good game, but it's going to be players launch because it's 60 bucks. Yeah. That's a bit much. Destiny Warframe Overwatch, yeah. Third third person Ooh. action shooter. <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys want to do? We got a. Uh, we don't have much time. You want to do like one round of Jackbox or something? Yeah, that's a lot more setup than I want to do. Uh, then do you want to do one round of Shocker? We do a couple round of tanks, I guess. Couple yeah. round of Shell Shack. Right. It's easy enough for oh. everybody to get into. That's a go-to. Trying to inflate the shell shock nope sound that doesn't even co-workers. inherit the uh, theme properly anymore. <laughs> mine does. <laughs> yeah, mine does. Yeah. Apparently, the uh, Breeze GTK thing. theme the, it does not like it. <laughs> Pog Champ Games. Right, right. right, I need to pee. I'll be uh, back in a second. Let me just put myself online. Create a game. There. <laughs> no IP. Ah, the game is full. Pedro beat me this time. Uh, I can kick him. How do I get to after games, after games, after games, after games? Reverse after your penis. There it is. Fuck you! Um... Shell shock. Hey, there we go. No games are really free to play. They all cost time, and time is money. Well, they all cost electricity. Yeah. Unless you got some, like, bitchin' solar rig. I want a bitching solar rig, but like the problem is, is like here's the same problem with like solar than uh, we've always had is storage. Yep, capacity. We don't we don't have uh, we don't have good long term storage. We don't have good intermediate. Yep. Storage, like some of the uh, liquid batteries are a little bit better, but um, yeah, just at scale, battery technologies has just kind of been. Derping around the last, I don't know, what, ever? Yeah, we were, there were, there were some big hopes on graphene, like, 
revolutionizing battery tech, but that just hasn't really materialized yet. Well, I think most of it, I mean, yes, you can do it, but the problem is, can you do it outside of the lab, and can you do it at scale, and can you do it where it makes economic sense? Yeah. Like, does better, better battery tech exist than what we currently have with lithium-ion? Absolutely. Can we make a lot of it? At a I reasonable want, price? I want the battery no. that you can, like, pee on to recharge. <laughs> so that's a plant. It's not, uh, yeah, OTG, man. On the go. <laughs> Where's your charger? I am the charger. Just chugs like a fucking two liter of soda. Straight out of Bolivia. Raw, gonna give it to you. Who's Cinemod? I don't know. Cinemod? No idea. <laughs> His crafter. I know they posted the uh, thing on. Um, there, there was an update this week, and um, shell shock, and they're like, "Here's a screenshot of something we're working." I'm like, go fuck off. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I clicked on that for that. All right. Uh, let me see. Game audio. What can we do about that? F mod. That should be right, right? Oh, I don't have that enabled. Let me. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cinemod and uh, Alan both synced up. That's probably Alan's ult, so he can kill everybody at two shots. <laughs> Jordan, Tomic. <laughs> uh, I guess I thought we were waiting on more people. I guess not. <laughs> Tomic fell asleep. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Maybe he got stuffed in his mini fridge. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, you gotta lure the players to six. <laughs> What's that? Change the wind? Okay. <laughs> yeah, high wind, man. Let's just like no, nobody hit anybody. <laughs> Marksman with high wind, yes. <laughs> that, hey, that, that that's like the that's the accelerator round, right? Like that's how you uh, that's how you get out, in and out. Real quick. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm on one side of the map. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, you got this, fam. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, I mean, if it was anybody to the right of Alan, you got to be fucked <laughs> out of the game. A but... bumper in the way. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, I should expect by the time it gets to me, it'll just be pure bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm. And God smiles upon you. Let me have a look. We don't want to overplay this one, so I want to make sure we got everything lined up. That's good. Uh, yeah, That's no, we can weigh this one out against this one, so I don't know. Hmm. Oop. Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright. Um... <laughs> Go for the trick shot. Bounce it off the bumper. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't even know if I can fucking hit this. So, nope, not enough juice. Nope. I'll just. <laughs> I was afraid I was gonna overshoot. That, so that's even worse for me. <laughs> when in doubt, rearrange Mr. Alert's face. I mean, yeah. I, listen, listen, I'm I'm mad, so I'm just taking it out on him. <laughs> Nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> when, when in doubt, just punch Mr. Alert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at Atomic Ass. God's favorite child. <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. 
He didn't want to like uh, have, he didn't want to pull anything. <laughs> oh goddamn! Fuck you, game. <laughs> yeah, the, the, see, the, the, this is why like I, I get I get frustrated at golf because that's entirely under my control. This is like, like yeah, my my, my fate is in whoever's hands. Like, all right, let's see. Let's Come see on, Rando, let's go. <laughs> see if Chinny can do it. <laughs> <laughs> nope, can't yeah, go that way. Dance around the the issue. <laughs> uh, oh, spermies. Some froggies. All right. <laughs> oh <Hey>. shit! <laughs> he was significantly closer than we were, though. So. <laughs> All right. Hmm. It's tough, tough shot, man. <laughs> I don't think you can make it. Look through my weapons. We're gonna have to put this one together very carefully. So. Borderline trick shot, everybody. <laughs> uh -huh. So how do we want to tackle this particular one? Uh, Mini V might be the good attack, a flower, possibly a snake. You know, some people are going to say go with the gravies. I'd go for guppies. Get rid of that. I think maybe. Just maybe. Oh fuck okay. you, Atomic! So so <laughs> fuck the you. see like it, it's nice when the game has like selected a winner for you. <laughs> okay. Some people don't know how to lose. <laughs> not gracefully, oh. they don't. Oh, this is just color commentary. It's not bitter at all. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not 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 resentful in the least. It's good when the game not decides you're seeing, a uh, All of these turns, <laughs> a little salty. <laughs> See, look, that one's kind of challenging. I like how it's just going to appear right on top of Atomic next time, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good shot. That was a good shot. On my face! <laughs> my face! My face! There you my go. Face. <laughs> This is torturous. This is nerve wracking. You guys. <laughs> <sighs> Shit will be talked if you miss. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go with the gravies in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Atomic! Seriously! <laughs> fair, fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. <laughs> Shut up, uh. IGN. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, that floating thing's gold. Be careful. <laughs> Probably has pickles in it. Uh, uh. Boom. <laughs> All right. You know, Ch Chin Chinny's had some like actual shots they've had to make, <laughs> so you know, they, they they get a break. Hmm. Fuck the you, hardest man. shot. The <laughs> hardest shot in his life. <sighs> you know, I think we're gonna have to go with the uh, <laughs> tunneler on this. <laughs> oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. less easy shot for atomic. Finally. <laughs> Can he can he climb? Does he have enough tread? Child. <laughs> Child. <yes. laughs> wow. Oh. Is he out? No. Oh. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Alan doesn't like pickles. You haven't lived until you had bigel bites with pickles. <laughs> womp womp. This is the weirdest comic book. Right. <laughs> Am I supposed to be doing something? No, no, no. 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 Okay, <laughs> good. As long as it's not on me, I'm down. Oh, come on, Chini. Going for the ping. Ooh, oh, right on. That's, that's, that was a very good, good shot. <laughs> 
Yeah, they didn't believe they could do that either. <laughs> hmm. How do we go about this? You, you, you got the suction though. That's a little makes it a little tricky. I think we're gonna operate. <laughs> we'll use the power of snacks and see. Yes. Alright. <laughs> see, yeah, no, I have to call bullshit now. <laughs> How does that wow. work? <laughs> Maximum sass. <laughs> Say get fucked without saying get fucked. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Almost. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh. No. <laughs> Step through the rain drops. <laughs> That was so close, though. Oh, man. Yeah. Right? Like, I was rooting for you for a minute. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. So, Mr. Alert wins. <laughs> Damn it. Mm. Yeah. I win. <laughs> <laughs> well, I unlocked a bunch of stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll do a, a game of soccer, and we'll call it a night. <laughs> Tomb battle. Man, it's always nice when you get a cool rando. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, they're gone. Never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> they, they, they saw the game mode change. They're like, fuck that shit. Well, <laughs> Rohit, it just so happens that there's a there spot open up. <laughs> All right. Fair oh, balance. I love it when a hand comes together. All right. Squirrel right. more goals, all right. Squiggles. <laughs> this is a bullshit. I don't like this map. Yeah, it's very yeah. squiggly. Um. Okay, I got no defensive stuff, so I'm going on offense. Okay. Where's the ball? Fuck. Fuck. Hey. <laughs> when in doubt, probably heading directly towards your goal. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that totally went according to plan, you guys. <laughs> right, all according to Kate do some building, I guess. Now it gives me all this cool shit to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Trip two. Uh, no. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Way go, the thing was bouncing right there and it went in between the bounces. Fuck Way that. to go. <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> this game is just nervous laughter. <laughs> Boing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this I didn't fucking... expect that to happen, but there we go. <laughs> this fucking game, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all my work destroyed by one pixel. <laughs> right, is it my turn to moons? Moon! 
Let, let's moons at full power at uh, point blank range. <laughs> At least you announced it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, no. it's, 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 it's like the it's okay. like the command man, right? Like, that, no, that was the equivalent of you'll watch this. Pay attention. <laughs> Witness me. <sighs> yeah, I think that's. Give us one. <laughs> no, no. Apparently, it's not. in Asa's crack. <laughs> Save us from the doom robots of the future. <laughs> Come on, bounce! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, y'all had to get one. I was just like, "Are you going to just pity fuck us? Just one. That's all we need, man. Just one. Renew the vigor." Nope. That is not what I wanted to do. I'm down with it. Wah. Rolling on the field, stands. Needles away. <laughs> I like how it sounds like we just wrecked the hell out of something slightly off screen. <laughs> it kept exploding, but yeah. nothing was happening. There's like camera crew set dressers and shit all just dead everywhere. Like, uh oh. Nope. No. Yeah, well, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yep. Good job. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, well, that was me? How the fuck? I Somehow. Don't know. Spite. I see your point. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> oh, see, I've already been defeated. I felt nothing but like, sure, go ahead. Might as well <laughs> get, get, get <laughs> out of your system. Lie, lie back in Big of England. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to end on a fucking even number now, do we? <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was my fault. Why did it say nice shot? Did I get? Yeah, you got you yes, got the points. For you that. got the points for that. <laughs> Fuck all y'all's. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> Peasants. Fiesta. <laughs> How low can I go? Oh, I'm just stuck on this ledge now? Okay. So what do we think about green bell peppers? I like them. I, they taste the same as the red ones? Like the, red ones are, the red ones are sweeter, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I like green peppers. I, I just like peppers in general. It's like a baked, just stir, stir fried. Fry them. Yeah. yeah, stir fried. Raw. Them. Yeah, raw pepper. Raw, Bleeding I don't like everywhere. Raw. <laughs> Crawling or across grilled. the kitchen floor trying to live. And you're like, no. <laughs> and you fall upon them. There's nothing like a good floor pepper, Pedro. <laughs> I just don't like the taste of raw peppers. Like, stir-fried, absolutely. Put some butter on them. Mm, yeah. Yeah, saute them. That's nice. Yeah. Some, sometimes some I'll... garlic? Like, uh, if, you, uh, if you throw them in with, like, some rice while it's cooking, flavors the rice. <laughs> well, I always make the joke of my, um, something smells good in the kitchen starter kit, which is garlic, uh, tomatoes, and onions. Onions. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and being cooked. Yeah. Go, go garlic, garlic and onion. Ooh. They're like, yeah. sounds, sounds awfully good. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I did I Onions. Clicked the, I clicked the wrong thing.
I mean, isn't that just chili? I mean, yeah. it's like half of the Italian menu, dude. <laughs> yeah. Salsa, spaghetti sauce. <laughs> mm, Italian salsa. Yeah. That didn't do anything. There it goes. We. <laughs> like part of me wanted the ball to come back, but I knew it wasn't going to do anything logical <laughs> when it did. So no. Baby, come back. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> the we game's just like enough of this bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I wasn't aiming at you, fair to be fair. Fuck's sake. <laughs> well, you might have won. <laughs> might have, yes. Might have. <laughs> Through no fault of our own. <laughs> Just wait until I hit you with my Henry Henry Twinkler. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Henry Cavill. Stinkler. Cavill. <laughs> Hey, that's what they do. They replace uh, Henry Cavill with Henry the Winkler. I would watch the fuck out of that. F <laughs> Fonz Geralt? Hell hey. yes. No, I, I, wa I want fucking Barry Zuckercorn from Arrested Development. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, I lost very much this evening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did not right. so good. I'm gonna, do my, I'm gonna do my win roulette. Maybe I'll win. Yeah, I do not get the win bonus because I didn't win. Spin it <laughs> to win it. I got no, one. on Android and iOS from last year. We're working no on one one. No crossplay with PC. Too bad. Fuck you. <sighs> Wouldn't that be great? That'd be kind of fun. Make it real fun for like a party game. You could just like set everyone up on their phone. Oh, Steam update. What yeah, I, I got that earlier. Oh, it's you been re-released. No! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you lose! Good day, sir! Because we were running late and I didn't cut the box on, and I'm like, hey, you want to play a game? Then it was too late after that. <laughs> it's like, I've already won. Do what you must. Plus, nobody was in the after chosen either. I'm sorry. It's okay, though. I won't tell anyone, if you don't. <laughs> they can't. They have no voice. Rohan's exactly. gonna rat us out. Wink. Ah, <laughs> uh, I gotta go find something neat. I finally went to the grocery. Well, I discussed that earlier this week. I didn't find anything good. I need, I need, like, new menu items. I bought another bag of potatoes. Like, I'm gonna fucking do something with it. Maybe it's, uh, Man, I, I made a I made a shit ton of refried beans that I gotta eat. I keep forgetting that they're in the fridge. How long do refried beans keep? I think about like five, five days. Five days? I, I uh, don't know. Like it, it's be it's mostly just beans and onion, right? Like uh, it sounds like uh, burrito guts. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so pour some hot sauce on it. I was gonna I was doing it as like a chip dip, but yeah. You can put some chips in your... I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know if I want crunchy in my burrito. Mm. I, you know, I, so I like it. The problem is if you like order a burrito with chips in it, then mm -hmm. uh, they just get soggy by the time yeah, you get soggy things, chips. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it kind of defeats the purpose. Also, I do not like rice in my burrito. I do. I, 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 it gives it a little more body. There's like too much carbs. I need those carbs, man. And, and I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm watching my figure carbs. It's like, ah, this is too much bread. Like substance. Give me some extra peppers. Give me some floor peppers. Floor peppers. Wild Foxy peppers. Foxy re-enabled pocket. Dick, stop doing that. None of these domesticated peppers. <laughs> man, okay. So, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, but on Debian... Uh -huh. Firefox is slow as shit. Even if you download the latest binary from from uh, Mozilla, like it is night and day on Fedora, and it like I I don't I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, I know it comes with ESR by default. No, but... no, like like I'm I'm using the the like the actual Firefox stable right. binaries. Like I'm not. <laughs> yeah. 
It, it is it is like crazy how noticeably it eats shit on Debian. What is the uh, terminal command to um, time the startup? Uh, uh, system D dash analyze. Yeah. Isn't it just like a fucking timer? God damn it! Tell you how many seconds it took. That, that outputs. I'm sure it's in like buried in proc somewhere. Yeah, I thought there was like a simpler. I mean, it's one command. Yeah, no arguments, just system D dash analyze. <laughs> but how would you That's... analyze Firefox startup? Oh, oh, that. you're okay. oh, you're you're talking about like application startup. <gasps> <laughs> Context clues, my apologies for everyone. Yes, I was talking about the topic of Firefox starting up slowly on Debian. I apologize. La lack of clarity. It happens. Uh -huh. Laser Instru focus. Yeah. Instructions <laughs> unclear. Um, I think the, I think the time command will do it, but like Firefox That's what doesn't I was exit. Yeah, thinking, so. you'll have to kill it as soon as it loads properly. Well, no, I, 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 it, it will tell you like time to start, but like... Um, I'm just talking about like page loads in general. You just mean like I've never had a problem uh, things. PS, <laughs> the PS command. PS command will tell you when it started. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, realistically, like just like launching it. What? Let's see. I mean, it's a fraction of a one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Well, let's say like two and a half, maybe three seconds. All right, maybe like three and a half seconds. How long does it take to load on your uh, system, Jordan Svong? Uh, two seconds. Okay, so it's not that long. No, but like that's I'm not talking about like startup time of Firefox. I'm talking about like on like complex pages, like right. Like, like, it. So, uh, like a AWS console. That, that's the one where it really just eats poop. Mm. So is that just a Firefox thing on Debian or a Firefox thing on a... I don't a, know. I, I don't... I don't. Speaking of data points. Yeah, I should uh, I should log in on Fedora. But the last time I did, it was like a lot snappier. Maybe, maybe, maybe like Amazon has changed something or Firefox has changed something. Some fucking something. rando library that works best with Chromium. That's never happened. Well, that, 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 that's because, like, shit targets Chrome specifically and, like, implements, it, like, outdated APIs that only Chrome implements and shit like that. But I don't know if Amazon specifically did. Like, it doesn't make sense for Amazon to do that kind of shit because, ideally, they'd want to work on everything. I think with Amazon, their approach is, like, you use whatever the fuck we tell you. Yeah, well, the, the, the new EC2 experience is the... There you go. Sacred came out 19 years ago today. <laughs> Who is disputing that? M Mazel Tov. <laughs> I just saw that on Twitter, so oh. yeah, I shared. <laughs> okay. Well, I have you know that Rohit is having a beer. Okay. It seems like a logical thing to do. Yes. <laughs> is uh, isn't it like um, logical? Isn't this the, like the green shit holiday? Uh, St. Patty's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Is that today? Uh, it was. I don't know. It was. Uh, I think Friday, like, March seventeenth. Right. So I think that was yesterday. Yeah, it, I'm like, like, I'm like, I think I thought it was Friday, but I'm like, why? Friday. It was. Yeah. But like, it's Sunday now. That's what threw me off. I'm looking at the calendar. Mm -hmm. I'm like. That's not right. <laughs> was it Thursday? I thought it was Thursday. Strider's got a question. Uh, the native uh, Linux version, you can play it on Linux March if you disable sound and you remove the OpenAL library that it comes with or just m move it to a dot back. And then it works without sound. I've gotten it to work on D. <laughs> 
uh, old, old um, native version. I've managed to get it to work, but yeah, no sound. And uh, I, I've tried all the workarounds that I could Google, and it, they don't work. But yeah, without sound, the native version works just fine. Can you just ship it in a Windows 95 container? <laughs> probably. <laughs> it's one of those games that you could probably just bottle it up with wine, and it'll be better. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's how, that's how you would do a Windows 95 container. You just like, <laughs> have wine in Windows 95 compatibility mode. Holy like, shit. Yeah. I mean, compared to like a lot of shit, dude, like Windows, what was the, what was the install footprint of uh, 95 out of the box? How many megabytes? Hundreds of megabytes. Probably like a hundred. I want to say three. I want to say three is what I'm feeling. Uh, hundred and uh, hundred thirty megabytes in size, two hundred megabytes of RAM when loaded. Okay, so a hundred and thirty for disk, and then it expends itself. <laughs> yeah, it's a rounding error in modern days. So yeah, yeah, just, just packing a copy of Windows. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's 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 a, that's a yeah. But that's the thing; you can't just ship windows you need to ship windows plus the drivers plus uh and you're going to need sound drivers input drivers you're going to need graphics drivers yeah it's like you install the game then ship that <laughs> i don't know like who the fuck cares like just run in wine god damn yeah proton version works <laughs> <laughs> like what what like hipster itch do you have to run it under fucking linux it, it's the native version it it was the one linux game publishing game that i bought was sacred gold <laughs> you gotta let it go man i just remember that blind guardian wrote a song for sacred 2 when it came out that was actually a decent song hmm Sacred Two and was not, right. uh, Sacred Three was shit. <laughs> not not the one they made for We Are the Dwarves. Holy man, holy shit, that was a stinker. <laughs> the 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 song that Vader did for The Witcher Two was also really bad. I'm gonna go see them in April. That's gonna be fun. Oh, uh, right on. Where are they playing? With uh, with uh, Decrepit Birth, uh, Lee's Palace in Toronto. Is that an arena? Uh, it's a concert venue. Oh, okay. Toronto's got a sports ball team, doesn't it? They do. We have Los Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Okay, so you got like a full-on stadium. Yeah, it was called the Sky Dome once upon a time, but now it's the Rogers Center, but everyone just calls it the Sky Dome. That's what it it's says. Right, it's right next to the We used to, to call CN it the Tower. Sky Dome, and now it's the Rogers, but we still call it the Sky Dome. Everyone yeah. fucking calls it the Sky I guess. I guess any, any, anyone who was like born pre-2000 calls, yeah. Yeah, calls it the Sky Dome. Everyone else calls it the Rogers Center, I guess. No. Oh. That's the building right next to the CN Tower. Gonna see my life with a thrill kill. Colton May? Alright. Yeah, it's good to know that your clothing can ward off sexual harassment lawsuits. <laughs> That's dope. I think pinching at work is a no-no. Just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, embezzlement's a no no nowadays. <laughs> if you get caught. Yeah. Ah, very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to a fucking live show in well before the pandemic started. Live music show? Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Uh, when was 1999 again? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what was the last concert you went to? No, no fairness, they might not have invented concerts. But... <laughs> Steve told me one story about a concert he went to where he was just fucking caked on LSD. So. Uh, 
Uh, it's a concert, yeah. What, what, what else are you going to do? <laughs> like, got to be nice to the seniors. You got to keep their memory active. You got to make them think. Here, Grandpa, have some acid. <laughs> Stimulate the uh, dopamine receivers. Hey, gra hey, Grandma, you want some psilocybin? <laughs> No, Steve, we've been over this. I'm not. Yes. Oh, man. No. What, what you need to do is start getting on your grandparents to start doing DMT so they're ready for when the real thing comes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you think it was good on? Uh, I think that's it. Call it a night of Reno. Night of Rooney. Uh, uh, yeah, no food in my stomach is uh, <laughs> what I'm planning on doing. Blue Oyster Cult, 1983. Was that in Bipso? Do you remember Greg? <laughs> Asking for a friend. See, that sounds like a pretty good show. Motorhead yeah. opening for BOC. Yeah, I mean, you see, that, that you can sell me on. You would never sell me that Steve went to go see a Motorhead show, though. I could absolutely he, he, see Steve showing up for a blue and BOC. Well, I mean, yeah, you show up for BOC and not for Motorhead, right? <laughs> Steve, yeah. Motorhead was just yeah. bonus soda. <laughs> not knocking on them, just saying musical taste. Of course you want for BOC. <laughs> yeah, right. that's that's a, that's a tour I want to see Blue Oyster Cult and Slayer. <laughs> Who opens for who? They both play at the same time. Uh, <laughs> both both their sets simultaneously. No, no, no. They're both opening apps for Jewel. Ah. Uh, Aw. All right, beautiful people. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. What little of it may still exist. I'll be back tomorrow morning to uh, tempt a fate once again for a little bit of editing that Linux game show episode 5 5 2 till then oh, don't do anything five, five, five. Pedro wouldn't do and remember click that fucking discord link <laughs> or Alex <laughs> discord.gg slash or else <laughs> Hello, <Elks. laughs>